two. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Now, here's a little story I got to tell about the two sides of life. You know so well, the series mm-hmm. and the fun. Obviously told by John L. Peacock and my boy Pete. But I have a little yeah. podcast named Two Sided Pod. Don't leave now, it gets better after a few shots. We're both in San Diego. They run this land. The sheriff posse's only ass because they in demand. One lonely listener you might be. All of us together make a community. So get comfy, get bumpy with how he acts. The show's about to start and my beer's getting flat. <laughs> You're listening to Two Sided, a live recorded podcast where each week I challenge Pete with a bit of the two sides of life, the serious and the fun. (laughs) Oh, John, 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 John. That's fantastic. (laughs) And you pick that one. You're such a horrible fucking... PA guy, okay? like you're just. What is the one you, the picture you leave for us? John's fucking burr face and my fucking gut hanging out. Like, yeah, let's leave that one up. Out of all the things we could have done, man, you're something special, John. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, look, and I pop up on YouTube, and the first thing I see is me picking my own nose. <laughs> We're off to a great start, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all the appropriate ages. We are an adult (laughs) comedy live show here every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. That's 4 a.m. Greenwich Meanwich Sandwich Time if you're across the pond. Tell your friends, tell your coworkers, but make sure you get a sitter because we'll be back next week. (laughs) We're the gift that keeps on giving, ladies and gentlemen. The gift that keeps on giving. (laughs) Like herpes, folks. You're never going to get rid of us, and you remember us weekly. (laughs) We'll be your best mistake. Trust me. We'll be your best mistake. (laughs) That's on most of my dating apps. Like, what's your profile? I'll be your best mistake. Fucking, I think you know what time it is. Time to make some mistakes. We got a couple of uh, pockets of pop, uh, packets of pop, and uh, poopies of pop. Uh, uh, yeah, do that. All right, we'll uh, we'll pop these and we'll get onto the show, folks. I saw an apple tree by the gas station. Was I wrong for taking the apples at the gas station? They were free. Apples growing in nature. Yep. I'm thinking, yep. why would I go to the store and buy apples and there's apples right here by the gas station Damn straight. on a tree? Damn straight, right? Right. What came first, the gas station or the apple tree? I'm not gonna go to buy plants. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you can take apple, can take apple, apple tree grown at the gas station, but do not partake of the sushi being sold into the gas station. Always avoid the sushi from the gas stations. <laughs> but the boner pills, John, the boner pills always work. Sorry. I downloaded that from my phone called Window White House. It's this game where you actually go on the campaign trail to try and actually win my presidency. Okay. What I'm going to do is win the presidency and then I'm going to meet China. I have no reason. I have no rhyme or reason. Just for the light nuking something. Make me a place. Oh, no, Okay. Fun game. It's like a uh, Sims gone wrong. This is the reason that people like you should not have power. And by people like you, I think we all know who we're talking about. Look in the mirror. We're talking about you. That's right, John. And me. And you out there. All you kids out there. Nobody needs responsibility. It's time to dumb down, pour a shot, and get ready for the show. Two more messages. Now, here's a little story I got to tell about two bad brothers you know so well. It started way back in history with John P. Keck and my boy P. Yeah. Saying, I love those originals. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I was wondering? Tell some stuff I was wondering. I don't know. But... How come there are never any white women on any AIDS commercials? Come on now. Now 
I mean, I haven't seen one. In fact, I haven't even seen a Chinese lady on an AIDS commercial. Only a black woman. I'm back in the corner frying plans. Are you trying to tell us something? You know what? I think they're. T- I, 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 was gonna, I was gonna make those jokes. I'm like, shit, all these jokes could go horribly wrong. Nope. I'll be in the corner with you. Well, I'm not sure what came first, but uh, hopefully those weren't crab apples because what's gonna come third is uh, the runs. Mm-hmm. They're always pills at the gas station for mm-hmm. men. Where are the pills for the women? What are the women supposed to do while all these men out here with the gas station pills? If they got gas station pills to keep them happy for a few hours, who are they happy with if the women ain't got no gas station pills <laughs> to make them happy too? I'm back at a corner frying plantains. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, baby, I take these pills for you. Baby, I got these for you. Look what I got for you, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Play that one off, motherfucker. Try that again. Mm-hmm. Well, Michael Jackson did say he was looking at the man in the mirror. I said him to change his ways. Mm-hmm. I don't know the words. Can you come any clearer? Take a look at yourself and make that change. Woo! I'm back in the corner. Na 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 na. Woo! 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 All right, last one. Here we go. Well, I mean, delicious. You could take those pills, but I don't think anything's going to come with it except for what comes with my bone hurt with those. It's a raging headache and a stuffy nose for some reason. <laughs> You gotta go to the gas station to get pills. I think you are. I'm asking for a coworker. <laughs> That's some crazy town shit, John. I don't know. I believe in recreational <laughs> drugs for all things, but I don't. I don't need them for that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's been our time. We, 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 we've enjoyed this as much as you have. All right, and that's our time for tonight. We'll be the local gas station. I'll see you at the drugstore. Hey, let's do a shot and start the show. Oh, it's about time we start drinking, John. All of these sober feelings are starting to make me... Ooh, look at you. You froze like, bing, bing, bing. Cheers, motherfucker. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Ooh. Howdy. I don't know if it's a sign from the heavens, but your bandwidth, as soon as you started playing that song, it just went really, really low and everything went compressed. It's like, you know what? We're not even going to play this shit. As a society, we realize that our technological advances should not support John Peacock's musical influences. Period. I'm John L. Peacock out in Brooklyn, New York. I'm my boy Pete in Southern California. <laughs> getting to two, a live podcast where each I challenge Pete with a bit of two sides of life, the serious and the fun. Yeah, John. The, the, the you and the me, the wrong and the right, the no and the yes, the ebb and the flow, the push and the pull, the give and the take, the yin and the yang, uh, the 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 Hansel, the Gretel, the Batman, the Robin, the 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 Bonnie, the Clyde, the the Godzilla and the Mothra, the the Pad and the Tide, the peanut butter and the ladies, John. <sighs> peanut butter and the ladies, John. Two things that are opposite that go together. One's right, one's wrong. I'll leave that up to the listener to decide. Uh, my boy Pete, um, since we're off to a, such a great start with the uh, peanut butter and the ladies, um, let's do our general check-in. My boy Pete, how you feeling? I'm feeling right, John. I'm feeling okay. We've uh, the rains have stopped. Uh, we've we've sent all of our earthquakes to the east coast, so things are looking good here. Um, <laughs> there, there was a shooting. <laughs> Right outside of 
of uh, my department <laughs> where I go to smoke. So not great there, but uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good otherwise. Yeah, pretty good otherwise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, my car was my car was part of a crime scene. <laughs> huh. Uh, well, I mean, John, it's it not the first time. Yeah, my car, it's not the first time it's been involved in a crime scene. But this is the first time that they let me leave and held the crime tape up as I drove through. <laughs> very, very <laughs> off-putting circumstances, my man. When you know who I am, and like, okay, I just need to get my car. Okay, uh, no, that's fine. Hello, officer. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, stupid. It was dumb. It was very dumb. That's a story for a story. But yes, okay. I'm doing good. All right, uh, we got two uh, uh, packets to pop, and uh, let's let's uh, let's move on from that one. Fair enough. Fair enough. You fill her up, and while you're at it, can you give me two packs to the get hard pills? Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me, attendant. My tank's empty, and my dick is flaccid. Could you fix either of those situations here? That's a horrible way to ask for a fill-up and a boner pill, John. I'm letting you know. You know, okay, you go to the doctor, you can prescribe Viagra. Okay, I get it. Okay. I'm not so sure I want to have sex with a guy who took gas station pills to make a little pee-pee hard. <laughs> hey, I, I just don't. I'm sorry. Is, that is, am I wrong with that? I was... <laughs> Because you gotta go to the <laughs> All right, I'm back in the garden. Babe, I want you to know how much our relationship means to us. So instead of getting two gallons of premium unleaded, I got these dick pills. I had to walk home because I'm out of gas, but uh that's what I that's what our love means to us, to me, to us. <laughs> me, I mean me and the gas station attendant. How we feel about you. How are y'all doing tonight? There we go. I'll just say, uh, hope I'm great night. So, yes. What's cracking, man? How you doing? Good to see you, brother. Oh, it's a pleasure, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We are the Two Sided Pod. We're here every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific. That's 11 p.m. Eastern. That's 4 a.m. Greenwich, Mean, which sandwich time on Wednesdays if you're across the pond. If you're live on the stereo streets, you can click that link above our heads to our live YouTube stream where uh, you can see the goddamn tra tragedy that has become what our countenances are. Uh, if you live the horrible lives we live, you will look like this. Anyway, come on in. Say hi. <laughs> uh, on that note, that's going to lead us to our first. Lightning round. Lightning round. Get down. Oh, what's up, John L. Peacock? What's up, my boy, Pete? What up, Lightning Round Guy? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Good to see you guys. It's been a long weekend. How are things out there in New York? You still shaking from that big quaking? A little bit of rumbly, a little bit of uh, darkness, but uh, we got through it, and uh, we're, we're rebuilding, you know? You know, we're, we're setting up the lawn chairs once again. Nice, rumbly and dumbly, man. It sounds like my tumbly after a good chilly night. But hey, man. Sounds like you guys got everything under control, so I'm going to be back in the closet if y'all need me, all right? Y'all stay up! Woo! Sounds, sounds good, buddy. See you later. I feel like he's <laughs> learned if you keep him short and sweet, you just, it's a lot less painless. <laughs> a lot less painless, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still painful, but a lot less. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody who's anybody knows that the first lightning round of the episode is always a standard Q&A. My boy, Pete, you ready for the questions? I believe I am, John. I believe I am because our audience, the YouTubes are filling up. We got MFA out here. So how you doing, girl? Good to see you. How you doing? John, that made me feel gross. Can you, can you not... <laughs> bella, bella. God, it's like you're eating fucking. Okay, slow down, Turbo. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, my boy Pete, first question. Uh, when did you first see an eclipse? Aha! Trick question. You should never look at an eclipse. Never. 
final answer. Oh, mm. bing, bing, bing. you did it. <laughs> damn, you okay. Top. When did you first experience an eclipse, my boy? To be totally honest, John, I don't know. I know I've been through a couple here and there. Different time, different place. I don't know, man. Turns out it gets dark in my world every 12 hours. So when there was one more that happened a little sooner than 12, I, I didn't really take notice. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do you remember uh, if you first saw a solar eclipse or a, a lunar eclipse? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know. I uh, feel like if it was... I feel like a lunar eclipse would be less uh, impressive because, look, it's more nighttime. It's, it's not as... It's nighttime, but now it's more nighttime. Like, nah, not as impressive. I don't know, John. I feel like I would forget that one a lot quicker. So I'm going to go with lunar eclipse, probably, because that's that sounds like something I'd forget. What's the difference between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse again? Uh, lunar eclipse is where the sun goes in front of the moon. The solar eclipse is where the moon goes in front of the sun. So it's like, I mean, I don't know how you identify, what kind of eclipse you identify as, but your eclipse can go anywhere you feel comfortable enjoying it, as long as both the sun and the moon are willing and consent. Wait, so does the moon go far away to go behind the sun, or does the sun come real close and is between us and the moon? <laughs> it has to be. If it comes really close to us, we'd all die, John. <laughs> <laughs> So it's when the moon just like takes a real big trip. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, you guys good? All right, bundle up, I'll be back. <laughs> no, when Jupiter, John, you're thinking about retrograde. When Saturn was aligned with Pluto and Mercury was in retrograde, uh -huh. that is when I do my finest work. And I true. feel like we're, uh, I feel like we're hitting that time right about now. Mercury is in retrograde. That is true. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones, John. You can't hide something like that from an old uh, retrograde feeler like me. <laughs> uh. right, final question. Final question. Uh, Michael Pate, you ever look straight up into the sun, uh, eclipse glasses in hand? <laughs> no. I've, no, John, you know for a fact I've never owned eclipse glasses. <laughs> I make a point. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking buy something that's useless. I'll buy a welling hood. Right. Because that you can use for murders. And no one's ever had a horror movie that had a welling hood. Because it's probably you can't see out of it. That's why. It all, all makes sense now. Stick with a hockey mask. Don't look at solar eclipses, but you can get away with murders that way better. That's a fact. And that is a fact. That's right. <laughs> and that's been our lightning round. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Lightning, thunder, lunar, John, all the elements were there. Yeah, right, right. All right, we got a lot of people uh, wanting a lot of <laughs> attention right now. <laughs> I'm practically wicking from hearing all the things about the goddamn elements. You know, why's it always got to be a little pee pee? I mean, we're giving what, we, what we've got, right? I mean, we can't change it. You know, we can't make it bigger or fatter or longer or, or put a motor in it and none shit like that. So just remember, paper cuts hurt too. <laughs> paper cuts hurt too. Look at Mr. McShitballs. My man speaking truth, wisdom, dropping bombs. Can I get two, uh, two gallons of unleaded and a pack of strong dick, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the ladies well I mean I'm doing the world a favor so if you want to give these to me on the house you would also be doing community service as well so everybody wins right <laughs> ladies can I get a what what <laughs> alright you're welcome bro this, if you went to the gas station by me which I call hey buddy because the same guy's been running we've always called it hey buddy because the guy says hey buddy but he would be like, you want bone pills? Which, which bone and pills do you want, buddy? <laughs> I have so many. There's this one right here. This is called the rhino. 
this will make your this will make your farm like a rhinoceros. Oh, it's perfect. Nice. It's perfect. You can taste the rhino in there. That's how you know it's real. Uh, you know, we're not used to that shit over here, okay? Y'all keep that earthquake shit over there. We just used a little rain and some snow and some sleet, some crime, some big fat cracks. We don't, we're not used to the ground moving, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't be quaking over here. Y'all got a quake over there in California. Keep that over there. All right, no, I'm with you. If you guys keep the rain and the snow, we'll keep the quakes. I feel people here freak the fuck out when it gets a little wet or a little cold. It's a goddamn nightmare on the roads. I thought I saw a lunar eclipse about 10 years ago. But it turned out that it was just your mom getting up to get another Diet Coke. That lady loves her Diet Cokes, it's true. <clears throat> I about that one time when your anus wasn't retrograde. <laughs> what? <laughs> Need a nice topical cream to clear that raptor grade right up. That's a good question. You think you think that when there's a clip like lunar or solar eclipses, it's like the sun and the moon have been working, and they're waiting for somebody to to just come relieve them for a, a few minutes so they can go take a whiz mm -hmm. or bathroom real quick. I don't know if you knew this, but the the moon is a is a pretty heavy smoker. <laughs> So the moon always needs smoke breaks. So, did you say a horror movie with the welding mask? Uh, that's pretty goddamn sexy. Got a funny fit in my jeans with that one. <laughs> my welding helmet, though, to see the, uh, solar eclipse yesterday. See, now, I've got one of those uh, handy dandy welding helmets that doesn't get dark until you. Strike an arc, you know, when you're welding. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I had to do some fine tuning with it to to get it to darken. <laughs> when they were, you know, consenting to, you know. <clears throat> you ever seen the sun, the moon, fuck? Well, this is the closest you're ever gonna see, baby. Put on your welding hand, but things are gonna get fucking weird. I thought I saw a putty cat. <laughs> When I went to the bathroom. I'm going to go on. I did. I did. I did see an eclipse. <laughs> All right, Pete. Uh, let's do a shot. All right. Let's do a shot, John. It's about time we get back to our roots and start drinking around here. People yeah, are going to start mistaking us for a podcast of talking and jokes and fucking facts that no one needs in their life. We don't need that, John. We need to remember. <laughs> remember. Cheers. Cheers. Never forget. Remember. Cause equal. The random facts you're gonna get tonight are about the total eclipse of the sun. Hey, big surprise. Every now and then I get a little bit angry at John Stupid talking now I get turn around every night of Tuesday at 8 p.m. Pacific at 11 p.m. Eastern. John, shut your mouth, ginger hole. Every time you speak, you piss me off. And I need you to drink more now. I need you to stop so talking much now forever. And if you don't drink enough tonight, I can't believe it, John. We're so close that we can't get to the end of the night. We're living in a firecracker, and I think it's just right. Let's do a shot right. tonight. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Fuck Cheers yeah. everybody. Hey, welcome bing, for bing, listening. Bing. <laughs> oh, that was silly. Because oh, we're going to talk about the total eclipse. Oh, I already said that. All right. April eighth. Hold on, we're gonna be in a fucking horrible <laughs> loop if I keep singing. I already got my next one poured. Six <laughs> minutes later, you guys, you guys, we're gonna start the show about a total eclipse. Of the, if we can do it together, just to that. But I won't do that. Oh shit, meatloaf. I won't do that. 
John, no, I won't do that. I don't even know, bud. <laughs> On your way. April 8, 2024, America, North America experienced the world's longest land-based total solar eclipse in over a decade. Woo! He said the date that we had yesterday. Woo! Topical, guys. Everyone hoot and holler. Woo! Uh, four states in Mexico, 15 U.S. states, and five Canadian provinces. It allowed over 40 million people to witness uh, the celestial spectacle. Why'd they get chosen, John? Are you going to get into it? Why they got chosen? Because I felt very, like, I live in one of the best states in the world, ever. Super high taxes, really high housing. Fucking our roads are fucked. The, the our state of denial. Get, our governor can get reservations at any restaurant at any <laughs> pandemic level at any point. Pretty awesome. So I I I feel like I should have gotten some of that good eclipse action. And when they didn't get it, I was like, there has to be a scientific reasoning for this. Why, you know, why I didn't get it. And I'm sure John's gonna tell it to me, so I didn't even bother looking it up. Well, because there are more uh, uh, Republicans in the state of California than there are in the state of Texas. It started in Texas, actually, uh, for the U.S. And God then when damn it. everything <laughs> starts in Texas, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, went through others. Uh, we don't need to go through that list. All right. Uh, it had over 100 minutes of total eclipse over land. Uh, the last eclipse, October. How many? Of how many over sea? Was there well, what if 120, I land? Yeah, 120 over 120 over land, even more over sea. Yeah, 100 over land uh, and uh, 200 over sea. Yeah, that's the old saying. Right. The eclipse is coming! The eclipse is coming! I'll ride from town to town and let them know the eclipse is coming. In a diagonal pattern, north, uh, northwise uh, across the, yeah. the North America. He, he doesn't. He doesn't do grid writing very well. He always <laughs> goes diagonally. Let him go. He's touched in the head. This fucking Revere boy. Uh, so last October we had an eclipse, and everyone's like, "Why is this one so special?" I already saw it through my glasses. Well, this one was special because those who got that total eclipse got to take their glasses off for just a second, and they were okay. It wasn't like uh, some other times during eclipses when you looked at it and it wasn't a good time to look at it. You could actually take your glasses off and look straight into the moon with the, with the corona around it during that one time moment. Did you Have you seen the videos of like news reporters and other people just losing their shit? Like absolutely losing their shit when it happens? Okay, it's coming. Ah, it's coming. And like people are yelling, like, <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? Because you can't see them anymore. It's dark as fuck. And you're just hearing screaming. <laughs> like, are, are people transforming? Is this fucking, is there murders happening? Is this like an orgy? What is happening? Fucking someone put some lights on. What the fuck? <laughs> Shine a flashlight on that person. Hurry. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> My God, I'm missing out. I need to be in that state. <laughs> Listen, I've seen Luna with the Corona before many <laughs> times. I didn't need to see that. Right? One of my favorite bars. Least favorite beer. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, so the winner of uh, Best View this go-round was Nazus. It's a small little village in Mexico. Nazus. They got the longest uh, total eclipse uh, 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 timing. Good for them. Population about 3,000. A dad is like, to say we shouldn't come to Mexico, to say we shouldn't be here, but look where we are now. Look, we, everybody is coming here, and we have the perfect spot. Everybody says, Papa, do not do nowhere to break us. I don't, I don't know where we're going with this, John. But... It's okay. uh, let's go, let's go to hurt. something a little more comfortable. <laughs> He sometimes uh, this thing is better, yeah. Hey, I, I take the niños and the niñas to a small town. It's very small town in southern Mexico. It's it's beautiful landscapes. It's nowhere, but it's it's home. 
He's all very unhappy. But look now. Look, it's big eclipse. Look, it's everybody go outside, stare at the sun. Only today. Only today. <laughs> okay. uh, anyway, uh, the last ones to get to see any um, um, partial eclipse at all was Western UK. But you had to be overlooking uh, the sea as the sun sets, uh, as, as it set uh, yesterday. So that's those are the last ones to get it. Okay. UK. All right. UK. Last ones to get it. UK. Just like everything else. Pick it up, UK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the last eclipse of this kind was 2006, and it went over Africa and parts of Asia. So if you're a real eclipse junkie, you'd be traveling all over the world for every eclipse. Like, I gotta, I gotta go to Africa. It's the only place I can see this motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta go to Mexico. Now they they uh, put a lot of focus on the next one, the next eclipse. Uh, so did you hear when that one is? Nah, man, I didn't. Uh, April twentieth of twenty forty two. Nah, man. Nah, too far. I don't make plans like that. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna be busy anyway. I got shit going on. Probably be dead. Well, don't need don't need to be around for that shit. I'm good. That's fine because it's going to be over the Philippines, Indonesia, and uh, Eastern Malaysia. Well, that's what we call them now, John. But the New World Order in 2042, there's no such thing as countries. <laughs> there's just different planes of existence where you get different color robes <laughs> and different color <laughs> slop. Oh, okay. It's a, it's, it's a hierarchical, some say caste system, but it's a hierarchical continental divide. We like to refer to it as. Okay. Okay. Um, now, uh, the eclipse was uh, fun to view, but it also was a, a great major event for scientists. Um, why, you might ask? Well, uh, in a total eclipse. <laughs> uh, uh, I was going to guess a couple. <laughs> what happens in a total eclipse for, that's good for scientists? Well, anyone who knows anything about scientists know that scientists are horny as fuck around eclipses. So if you're a scientist working in a lab, you're definitely going to get laid. That's for sure. The eclipse goes away, and like, people are like, oh, my God. They come to, they're the scientists are like sexual werewolves when it comes to solar eclipses. They come to naked, covered in test tubes. Like, <laughs> Got to get our shit back together crazy town right is that it uh, yeah yeah uh, that's mostly it they also um when it's perfectly covered by the moon uh, they get to see and measure things that are normally blocked by the incredibly yeah. bright surface of the sun literally what i said they get to see and measure things like uh, well uh, if you can take out the the uh, protractor you'll see that there is a growth uh, happening here before us whoa <laughs> that's what i said literally what i said well, what sorts of observations are made possible by the eclipse, my boy, Pete? Well, we can look a lot deeper into the uh, the vastness that is uh, behold to us. <laughs> also, uh, we can see diameter, girth, goy. Uh, also, solar flares, which I've been told are very natural. Hot spots, as it were. Uh -huh. Some nice topical, topical cream. We'll clear those right up. <laughs> they all get to also get to observe those who study the physics of the sun. Uh, it's their best chance of observing observing the sun's uh, corona directly from Earth. Yeah, that's just lazy scientific work, John. It's the best chance to not have to go out of your way to to study it. Like, ah, I can be in my fucking underwear on my couch and do some work, as opposed to like I gotta fucking do some work and work arounds and fucking. Oh, it's a satellite. I got to fucking file a report, put a cover sheet on that shit, like, to do my study. Like, it's a, yeah, don't be fucking lazy, scientist. Get up. Do your job. Make your fucking bed, scientist. That is the key to success. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> 
So the corona, which is a uh, white hot plasma that can be as hot as 2 million degrees Fahrenheit, um, is uh, it's constantly being torn off the edges of the sun and sprayed many thousands of miles above the sun's surface. I don't know, John. Once again, once again, all of your theoretical science talk is going to make me suspect, right? Oh, how do we know? Because have we been there? Well, no, we can't because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Pretty, uh, pretty convenient. Can't get close to it, so we can't really tell how hot it is. But theoretically, thousands of miles of super hotness. Mm -hmm. To me, John, that's a defense system. That is a secret base. For a criminal mastermind. John, <laughs> I've seen it a hundred times before. I believe it was Superman 3, 4, maybe it was 2. Could have been 5. John, I believe it was in the Superman universe that once proffered this whole idea. <laughs> I think it's in. Uh, I think it's uh, based on real scientific fact, John. Well, in which one of those was Richard Pryor a uh, computer genius? That, that, that was uh, two. That was the worst <laughs> one. That was the fucking... That was the worst one. I was like, Jesus Christ, you guys aren't even trying now. <laughs> Gene Hackman was reduced to like being a dunce. Right. <laughs> like, like, like Two-thirds oh, of man. the stooges. <laughs> so, so good. Uh, we're going to need another stooge out of you, Gene. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work in your uh, acting repertoire, but. Well, so when they uh, are able to have the moon in front of it, they are actually able to gather the data, which lets us know how hot and how high um, uh, this uh, white uh, hot uh, plasma is. How high is it? Oh, you said how hot and how high? It's pretty hot. And I'm pretty high. Did you do all the math? Like, I don't know, man. I'm pretty high because that seems pretty hot. <laughs> so I just <laughs> go on smoking, you know, like scientists do. Uh, well, you know, eclipses have long inspired terror and awe as ancient cultures sought ways to explain the celestial phenomenon. Um, yeah, dude, totally. That's the that was the premise of Black Knight with uh, Martin Lawrence. That was the uh, same thing where he predicted the eclipse and became. The ruler of the kingdom for a little bit, John. Again, all based on fact. Well, ancient records of eclipses date back to 772 BC when the Chinese marked them as animal bones, uh, on and 750 BC when the Babylonians recorded eclipses in their cuneiform writing on clay tablets. Oh, okay. So they recorded their history on animal bones and that history said there was an eclipse. There wasn't like, it wasn't like the old folklore of like, Oh, the animal bones fell from the sky and blocked out the sun. And we found those writings on papyrus. No, it was on animal bones about yes. a specific eclipse. Yes. And clay tablets, uh, uh, for the Babylonians. Did they, did they mention anything about retrograde of mercury? I'm just asking for a friend. No, but they did uh, uh, realize there was a rhythm to eclipses so that they could be calculated and predicted in the future. And Nice. That's how most of my birth control works. It's by the rhythm method. Nice. That's a joke. Uh, Have a calendar. Even though they were able to predict eclipses, the cause of the eclipse remained unknown. So myths and folklore folklore filled uh, the knowledge gap. Um, the mythology of eclipses most often involves a beast that tries to eat the sun for lunch. Yeah! Fucking get that sun, beast! Oh, who's a hungry beast? What does that beast want? Who's a hungry beast? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, does the beast want the sun? The beast wants the sun. Beast, you go get that sun. You go get that sun. Go get that sun, beast! And... Which... Which is funny because for the Chinese, it was either a dragon or a dog. So, yeah, that, that actually works. Well, anyone who knows me knows that's how I talk to dragons. And I'm pretty sure that's how <laughs> you would talk to dogs, too. 
Uh, and for Scandinavians, it was a wolf. Of course, but you can't trust the fucking Scandinavians. Anyone with hair that color and eyes that's glowing, blinding, like those, like, no, we don't need their <laughs> input. You guys have enough. Fuck off. Uh, in Northern South America, um, the, the indigenous people there thought the sun and moon fought one another, uh, trying to shut each other's out, each other's light. Um, and Transylvanian folklore suggested that the sun looked down on the earth, saw the corruption of humans, and turned away in disgust. <sighs> I feel like Transylvania missed a big opportunity to like really tie it back to like vampirism. Like, and they thought that the moon was actually using its fangs to suck out the sun's blood. Uh, for the the fawn people of Western Africa, thought the male sun ruled the day while the female moon ruled the night. "Quote: They loved each. They love each other, but they are so busy traversing the sky and providing light that they seldom get together. Uh, yet when they do, they modestly turn off the light." You guys ever seen your fucking celestial beings? Fuck. <laughs> that's, <the fun> <laughs> that's a little bit about the eclipse. That's just enough about the eclipse. I feel like we lived through enough and we live through a little bit more right now, John. <laughs> and I think everyone at home put their glasses on and, and felt they had one more use at them. It's like wearing a bridesmaid dress when you're going out for cocktails on a Tuesday night. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm getting one more wear out of this bitch. Look at him. Look at him. America. Can't see anything. Be Can't see anything. Best, best glasses in the world. <laughs> Name better ones. I knew you couldn't. <laughs> That's right. These glasses don't run. <laughs> Alright, speaking of uh, glasses, we got five uh, pockets of pap. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. That's lucky. That song is lucky. That uh, what was it? Oh, old school. Um, like gave it a second life. That total eclipse of the heart. Because think about it. You know, total eclipse of the heart in like ten minutes is gonna go back to like feeling the same way it did. Right. I'm saying. I'm saying he's onto something. <laughs> So y'all both taking shots of penicillin? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Or chinos. <laughs> Gotta have something to stop this burning. Dude, I was working when, during the clips. You know, I, um, I do lawn services and stuff for fertilizer. And uh, I do, like, right in Detroit, like, there's a bunch of these uh, white castles that we... Fuck uh, yeah. And it was like right at the peak of the eclipse. Dude, people were getting outside of their cars and dancing. Right? Man, ever uh, That's the thing. I feel like the human spirit, doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how what your background is, where you live, what your economic class is, you're just I feel like your inner child is waiting to get out. You're waiting to act a fool. You're waiting to, and all it takes is a is a a, a moment of like, oh, all the lights go out. Ah! I told uh, I told you we went to the fucking the dinner, the opaque dinner where they have it completely darkened, so there's literally you can't see your hand in front of your face, and the servers are all blind, and they come and like you eat in tables of six in the complete utter darkness and it is the most fucking ridiculous social experiment because as soon as you're in the dark people start like all over like and you saw the people you're going in with everyone is nicely dressed but you get in the dark and people start like ah, ah! it's like putting a fucking hot microphone on a stage and letting people walk by it everyone's gonna touch it everyone's gonna the lights go out in Georgia. Everybody fucking gets out of their car and starts dancing. Fucking, there's an eclipse in the White Castle in Detroit. Fucking same thing, but seen it a hundred times. Kids need to play. 
talking about losing shit. Oh, uh, I actually saw this on Mix last night. Uh, there was a Mexican uh, news station reporting on the on the uh, eclipse, and they were showing video of it. And you know, this guy and a couple ladies were talking about it, and all of a sudden, that video cuts. I mean, it's like pans like up for some reason, and it goes up. And all of a sudden, you see a fucking pair of saggy ass, hairy ass fucking balls just hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the cameraman was doing in between this guy's legs? But I'm saying, very nutsack on television for a second. I'm Maybe saying, or some, I don't know. Forget. I'm, I'm saying, the lights go out, people do crazy shit. Proves my point. Hey, uh, my boy Pete. What up? You know, bring question is, you know, a lot of things happen overseas that we don't know about. And um, personally, I just went under attack with um, a company that I used to work with, Major Tech. Uh, but, uh, you know, this guy that I've kind of brought under my wing, uh, he built the supersonic, super speed, super whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, super weapon. And he built it in a cave with a box of scraps. So I just want to know how we can prevent that, you know, from going overseas. Well, sir, I can assure you, we will keep all the possibilities of any superhero development or any weapon of Marvel destruction out of the caves of the insurgents and here, where insurgents truly belong, in the good old U.S. of A. <laughs> God bless you, sir. And thank you for your work. I appreciate everything you've done. <laughs> That's going to lead us to our next lightning round. Lightning round! It's time to get down! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah! Whoa! What's up, Jeffrey L. Peacock? What's up, my boy Pete? <laughs> Lightning round guy, how was the closet? Oh, it's pretty good. I don't know if you heard, but I, I was listening in pretty close, and I started. I had to run away when we started. But anyway, good. Everything's good, man. How's uh, <laughs> how's the show going? Uh, it's it's going pretty good. Everyone's like uh, enjoying the topic I chose. Uh, you know, people are really praising me. You know, I, hey, I feel good yeah. about it. Yeah, that's what we do to the special needs people, man. You're doing good. Here's a hustle sticker and a, and a lollipop. On your way, boy. Anyway, keep up the good work. I think you are special and you are important. And everybody's listening to you. All right, bud, go get them. We believe in you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that's some bullshit. There's certain things he's he's going way off script. Like we never talked about. It. Like that's not you're doing. You're doing great. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Like I don't know. He's talking like saying that fucking we have to <sighs> nonsense, hypocritical, John. Hypothetical, well, well, lyrical, let's spiritual. Let, let's cheers to me. You know, it's about time we started doing that. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Hey, you're welcome for listening. Yeah, I like your backpack, too. It's a nice backpack. <laughs> it's new. Hey, 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 Peacock. Nice new backpack. My OP, what, what are you smoking on? Um, some pre-roll diamond fuse. Because you know me, I can't roll. I'm like, oh, I'm no. Roll. I'm like, you, you might as well put some oil and some diamonds and rolling keef and dip them in embalming fluid and <laughs> have a have a fucking old priest and a young priest priest bless them and then curse them baptize them then excommunicate them and then I give them over to a Wiccan priestess and she says these cannot be smoked if if there's a planet in retrograde so now is the perfect time 
Nice. Nice. Yeah, I, I always thought about that. You you put so much of a uh, direct investment into uh, your marijuana habit, but you never took the time to learn how to nope. roll a joint. Nope, nope. Don't need to. Don't want to, John. If I need to be around, if I need to smoke, if I'm going to a place where I have to smoke a joint, I'll buy them. If I'm going where there will be joint smoke, there'll be people to roll them. Those people owe me. <laughs> um, and, uh, and who's and also like that's the other thing you throw you throw a bag of weed at someone they're like uh roll it up uh it's very hard to say no no i i couldn't because you know you're gonna pinch it like yeah i do too all right roll it up <laughs> uh real quick uh joints or blunts blunts well yeah. Well, blunts. If you're if you're talking blunts for me, I don't like to put the. I'll use the the blunt wraps with just weed. I don't like to do the tobacco in there. Mm -hmm. I have I know people who do a sprinkle of tobacco. I'm like oh no, no no no. Well, because the wrapper itself is already tobacco. Correct. Yeah. Right. My body's a temple. I'm not trying to overdo it, John. Moderation. You always Moderation, preach that. Sir. You always preach yeah. that. I say, yeah, eat half of the pill now, and then two more in half an hour. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, this is a very special lightning round because uh, my boy Pete doesn't know it, but um, we're doing commercials for actual sponsors and supporters. We're doing commercials for actual sponsors and supporters. A little bit of extra pressure this there, my boy Pete. No, it, no, it's a lot of extra pressure because here's the deal. This is what I'm running through in my head right now. You say that to me like, well, number one, John doesn't know how funny setups work. So we're we're all destined for failure at that point. But I'm like, all right, do I try to do like, oh, here's a commercial with like a funny joke? Or do I fuck these guys up? I'm like, oh, well, I think they all know who they are fucking in bed with. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be a hard one because... I don't know, John. Well, obviously, we'd like to first, uh, first thank our first sponsor ever, uh, the one, the only, uh, the mayor, uh, Galactic Super Friends. Galactic Super Friends. So we're thanking, or we're what are we doing? Uh, um, it's it's, it's a commercial. It's a, I I do that, and then you, you know, what? I'm not even going to set it up anymore. Hey, do Galactic Super Friends go? <laughs> <laughs> all right folks when it comes to sponsors there's no one better than galactic super friends because not only are they great people great musicians great sponsors in their monetary and uh and social constructs but they also have great ideas great feedback which is constructive and pointed this topic is proof of one of those. John is shit at picking topics. John wouldn't know comedy or sensuality if it bit him in the fucking ass. Galactic Super Friends. That's Galactic Super Friends. That's PF Friends. You can find them on Mixcloud. Now, find them on YouTube. Find them on uh, uh, Farmers Only. If you find them, let me know. I have a small reward and a bone to pick. I won't tell you which one is dealing with which. Galactic Super Friends. <laughs> they make better music than they do spellers. Galactic <laughs> Super Friends. Is it just to make it hard? I never got that. There's no reason. No, because... No, because the Galactic Super Friends, like, and it's because it's funny. It's like the friends. Sure. Come on. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, you know, yeah, the Galactic yeah. Super Friends. The, the Galactic fish. Super Friends is, you're preposterous. Oh, there was uh -oh. an extra P there, but you couldn't see it because there's already a P there. <laughs> Folks, if you like spelling jokes and you like good house dubstep trance, Oh, 
<sighs> no, he came up with the. It is the only. So anyway, doesn't matter, folks. Galactic <laughs> Super Friends. <laughs> You'll have neurological diseases if you listen to their music as loud as I do. Galactic Super Friends. Now on YouTube. Now on YouTube. <laughs> Next, uh, uh, the 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 great, the not so late, but sometimes he overate uh, gentleman who did our graphics, Joey. Oh, you mean the Atomic Llama? There you go. Tom McLana for all of your graphic needs. Tom McLana for someone who can finally drink with me. None of this fucking Nancy skirt holding, purse clutching, pearl wearing bullshit John does. Tom McLana, when you want to get a fucking bender going, Tom McLana. Also, one of the best artists, conceptually. Atomic Llama. Fucking, this guy can drink. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go out and have a drink with him. <laughs> I think I'm going to go out this weekend. I need to see those fuckers. Let's go drink. All right. Uh, uh, two more. Our next one is uh, uh, a more. producer, an engineer, a uh, uh, one-time radio host, uh, the one, the only, the guy who, who remixes our lives as we're living it, our boy, Dub. Holy shit. We're doing an ad for Dub? We're doing yeah. a thank you? We're doing, it's more of like a soliloquy. Like, this is where I, I step to the, like, step down stage, I get a fucking spot. <sighs> Folks, what can we say about Dub? What can't we say about Dub? And that's when the lights come up, John, and everyone's here, and it's just like a fucking. Burr, 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 burr. There's a mariachi band, burr, 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 burr. and he's like, "Yep, played that, played that." It's all the clips you've played, you silly fuck. He's Dub is Dub is Red Band, like he's uh, from Kill Tony, where he is on the point, always watching, always listening, evermore. The eternal ability to fuck shit up at the at the stroke of one key. Dub, making your life and my life more difficult than it should be. Dub, I wouldn't be this drunk without you. Dub, <laughs> fuck your couch too, buddy. Dub, the dubness. I'm gonna say in his honor, we should take a shot. You're muted. I want to say in his honor, we should probably take a shot. God damn it. He doesn't even have the fucking good sense to show up and we're drinking in his honor. I feel like we shouldn't, John. <laughs> but I feel like we're conditioned. This is like how kidnapped people are no longer chained in their fucking house, but they're... Why'd you stay in the house for the next five years? I don't know, man. Every time Dub left, I did a shot. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just, he fucking broke me as a person. You mean Pavlovian? No, it's Dubobian. It's bullshit. Also, we should do a shot. <laughs> it's going to be really hard when the cops are deb debriefing us and we have the fucking uh, blankets on us and sitting in the back of the ambulance and they're like uh, so what happened like i don't know shot and we're, ah! we're both like, you gotta stop drinking i can't i can't shot we've taken, a, we've taken away three bottles from them how do they keep on producing more where are they coming from they learn from under dub shot. Shot. don't say his name Cheers. 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 fuck yeah <laughs> Mm. And finally, but definitely not leastly, one of our greatest supporters, our media marketing uh, uh, woman about town, 
direct from the UK and the rest of the world because she can't stop traveling, because she can't stop on stop. Your girls and ours, Jules, Julie Prince. Put a pin in that. John, you, you know how I know <laughs> you're drunk? Hey, bud. Huh? You know how I know what? you're drunk? Oh, no, how? Every time you put start putting Y's and S's on things that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Hurly girly. Girls, he's in yours. Yours is he's in mine. He's, I love it. But, bud. 9.09 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 12. Oh, something. A.M. Eastern Standard. It's the fucking next morning. The U.K. <laughs> John, mark my words. <laughs> You're drunk. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> folks! Folks! Where were we? Julie <laughs> Jules. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> Girl Jules. What what is there to say, John? What what is there? What can we say? What can we not say? She she is she is everything everywhere all at once. She is nominated. And winning all the awards that we can possibly put up for her. If there's a category, fuck yeah. She shows up, motherfucker, and she shows out. No is not an answer that she understands. She also doesn't understand uh, fucking how the conversion to fucking dollars fucking things are way cheaper over here so why are you not vacation over here the dollar's super not strong against the pound, so <laughs> you know hollywood is right here anyway fuck off i digress you do julie prunes you wouldn't have the great content that you have from the two-sided pod you wouldn't have the tiktoks you wouldn't have the insta snaps you wouldn't have well you would have some of that but it wouldn't be fucking Good. It would be fucking kitten pictures and fucking monkeys throwing poop at each other. That's what I send. That's real good. That funny. shit's gold. Okay. It's classic. It's like my grandma said, stick with the dick and fart jokes, John. Know where your audience lies. Anyway, okay. Julie Prunes. I'm not going to say much more about her and her talents because then people will uh, try and steal her. I mean, not steal her, not steal her from us because she's She's a, a woman of free will. She can go wherever she wants. She, hey, hands off her choices. But also, fucking leave us. So help me God. Wait, hold on. No, this is a <laughs> Julie Prunes. You are the best. <laughs> I apologize for threatening you <laughs> if you ever decide to leave. <laughs> Julie Prunes. No restraining order will ever stop our love. Julie Prunes. <laughs> you put the fun in this dysfunctional two-sided podcast <laughs> Julie Prunes I know you like me better than John fuck John right am I right fuck John Julie yeah. Prunes yeah Jules yeah you heard him <laughs> Julie Prunes it puts the lotion on its skin or else we show up on Two Sided Pod <laughs> Tuesdays again. But it all, also could be both. So l lube up and come back next week. <laughs> Worst serial killer ever. <laughs> I'll let you go, but I'll kill you next week. Okay. All, all right. Dude, did you see there's a. You can you can print out the picture of him looking down the well. If you if you print that out, just like get a screenshot and print it out poster size, and then put it on the, the ceiling of the conference room. And just tape it up there. And so it's like, what the fuck? Put, put, put the TP, put the put the cover sheet on the TPS report. I think that report. <laughs> Fuck you, John. Good idea. I 
Uh, I got some good ideas. I I backed that report. Would you back the report? I backed that report. <laughs> Well, you heard it here, folks. Buffalo Bill likes my idea. I say we move to the board. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. So good. Sean, so good. If I, I, I okay, I know we've come a long way in in our in our world our technology our communication our rights our understanding of, of each other as human beings um our understanding of ourselves as human beings we've come a long way right you've come, come a long, long way baby. We're, like, we're like virginia slims of the fucking universe <laughs> right yeah we still cause cancer but fucking we've come <laughs> a long way <laughs> hear me out <laughs> hear me out i'm just saying if we could take all the things we have now, right? All of the understanding, all of the whatever, but it, it, unfortunately, it's the antithesis of what I want. The good old days, like back in fucking 82, I want to work in 1982 with all my technological advances, but to have, to be able to smoke at work, fucking have cocktails at lunch. I understand you can't slap ass anymore, but I, is there like a, If you, if you dress a certain way, does that does that indicate like if you wear this color, that means you want it? Well, she dressed like what? that. He dressed like that. I, no, see. How about an opt-in form? How about an opt-in yeah. form? Yeah, but also you have to wear the color of the opt-in. Yeah, so then then it's fine. You know what you're doing at that point. You are actually yeah. asking for it because of the opt-in form. He wouldn't have dressed like that if he didn't want it. Yeah, I got a signature right here. We good. <laughs> oh my God, John. Let's take it back. Let's take it way back. <laughs> lots of consent, lots of different colored wardrobes, but also smoking and drinking in the office. But right. we can also vape because we can do that. Fucking, there's, there's going to be all sorts of great stuff, John. Oh, what a utopia we will create once Los Angeles is earthquaked away from the coastline of the western United States, John. John, I can see it now. Not only that, but our our schools are going to be very well funded. We'll be well supervised be. by Big Brother, of course. Oh, no, we're Big Brother in this scenario. They're putting up, this is where they send the criminals. But then all of a sudden, the criminals are assimilated. And it's like, why is this island thriving? Why? And they were like, hey, can we come out there and hang out? Like, no, sorry, you have to be a criminal. Ha 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 ha. We don't believe in criminals. We rehabilitate. Turns out it's a utopia after all, John. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And I'm pitching that to Disney with a movie. Fucking, <laughs> like, if we can get The Rock on board, woo, baby. A whole utopia. With Terry Crews as a sidekick, too. <laughs> it's going to be great, John. It's going to be fantastic. You know board. what's also going to be great? Uh, we got uh, uh, three uh, packets to pop, and then we uh, move on. All right. Uh, there's an audio separated at birth. Um, the lightning round guy and the Obama phone lady. And she goes like, I got the Obama phone. <laughs> I love it when twins were separated at birth. It's great to see them reunited in audio. Hug me, because now we sing the song of love. <laughs> God save Julie Prunes, my golden Julie Prunes. I do think she's the fucking best thing ever movie Dune. Have you seen it? It's great. 
I like Julie Prunes. I wish I knew their fucking anthem. Or Canada. John, that's my goal as a human being. That is going to be my New Year's resolution. I'm going to learn at least one national anthem every quarter of the next year. By the end of the year, I'll know four other national anthems that I will sing loudly at every hockey game I go to. Yeah, the worst to get kidnapped by. Dude, Buffalo Bill scared the the holy bejesus out of me because I watched Silence of the Lambs when my friend's stepdad was watching it. Yeah. Way too young. And I so happened to see the part because we were running around being crazy. And, like, I saw the goodbye horses part. And I was like, what the fuck is that, dude? And I was so... Like weirded out by it, I started asking questions. I that, that, that somehow my brother found out. And brother told my dad. <laughs> so you were watching that movie. I'm like, he was like gonna go over there and talk to my friend instead. I'm like, no, we were running around. I had to try to convince him not to go over there. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. That's a stepdad for you. Yeah, it's better. I thought it's like well, I did. That's when I noticed that his stepdad had a fucking well in the basement and a bunch of lotion and a little poodle. And I was very, I was taken aback. I did not know. I'm glad I didn't go down that route. That's a good. Uh, dude, you know what? I would if I had an office. Dude, how badass would it be to have one of those little like carts with or like a little sidebar with those bottles that are like. Unmarked, you know what I'm saying? They have one of those lids that goes, you know, it's like a glass mm-hmm. lid, uh, like the um, the, the like serrated kind of outside, with various spirits and all of them. A carafe. <sighs> yeah. Go yes. On. You know, like even if it's night, like somebody comes in, he's like, "Dude, I, on. I gotta present this thing to you," and he makes himself a drink. Yep. yep. Full on. Get a craft. Get a little fucking snifter. Fucking open the little cocaine cubby. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I got I got a hell of a day ahead of me. I need a little bump of cocaine and a fucking a fucking highball, highball and eight ball. We got a ball combo. <laughs> Woo! All right, it's Johnson, my you two balls. Fucking, yeah, Johnson, you ready to pitch? Get your balls together. Let's go, baby. <laughs> 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 This is a two ball kind of day. Ah, uh, no, it's a decanter. Yeah, the old decanters uh, from a sidebar. That's what he was uh, referring sidebar, to. Decanter. The old, the old sidebar. I'm from the 1950s, so I know that the sidebar has the decanters. <laughs> yeah. So, and I'm from the court systems of the state of California. So, a sidebar is when my attorney goes up and speaks to the judge about my behavior with the prosecutor. Uh, Your Honor, may I approach the bench? Sidebar. I'm sorry. He's a big, dumb fucking animal. I can hear you, dude. Look at him. Just fucking full of shit. Dumb as a fucking box of fucking smashed assholes. What does that even mean? IQ of a salad bar, Your Honor. (laughs) Uh, Get to the point, counselor. You guys are assholes. Look at him. He's going to go cry in the car. I see you holding the cell. Make him cry in the cell. I, I, I move for a new lawyer? You can't, you fuck. Anyway, Your Honor, I just want to come up here and say those things. Uh, we're going to plead out. Anyway, look at him. Fucking idiot. Sidebars suck. And that is how the court systems work. <laughs> <laughs> month's show called Oh Canada. John, I love it. No. I can't stand a full national anthem. I just can't. It's not me. John, it's, it's my algorithms. 
all the things I want to do are push the top of my want list. Oh, Canada. And it's not, a, it's not a front against Canada. I'm all for Canada. I believe in Canucks. I will learn. You know what? I will learn O Canada first. <clears throat> well, I don't like cocaine. I just like the way it smells. Mm. Nope. This is, nope. I thought it was bad, but nope. It's still good. Still good, you guys. Still good. Uh, Judge, have a, uh, oh, may I have press the bench, please? Yes, Your Honor. Obviously, somehow, my client. Even though he is in custody, somehow must he must be drinking toilet wine. I don't know. We all know he's under the influence. Just please, see if you can just bleed it down. This gives him enough time. What you, what, forget. What, my, what, what are you saying? Kill me when what he is, gets. What are you saying? Okay. God damn it, John. Oh, okay, damn, John. Oh, wait, there's two more. No, my boy Pete. Hell no, you will not. You will learn Mexico's national anthem first. Oh. How dare you? You gotta be ashamed of yourself. I'm gonna have to reconsider our, our friendship okay. here. He's a goddamn chain man. <laughs> this is where I double down. It's like, I already know that one. Boo. And a hush fills the room. I know. That's bullshit. You know what? Okay, I will. But. <sighs> All right. Dude, I'm going to look that shit up tomorrow. I'm going to be humming that at work. People... Okay. All right. I'm not going to ask for it, but. Really kind of. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Easy there, Canada. Stepping all over God. We're a Christian nation down here, my friend. <laughs> well, that's going to lead us to our short short. Uh, these short, short segments, I uh, put five minutes on the clock, introduce the segment as precise as possible, read excerpts from a single source, and we talk till the timer goes off. As we all know, John, I'm excited to start. So, in honor of uh, Peter Higgs, who had revolutionary discoveries in what we now call dark matter, who died today at the age of 94. Um, this is from the New York Times. My boy Pete, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In honor of Peter Higgs, because one thing we know about Peter Higgs is nothing about Peter Higgs. So can't wait to read about him for 60 seconds and then figure out what we talked about him for 60 more. So, <laughs> I'll drink to that. Cheers, buddy. Pink, pink, pink. I get a gal. Uh. Mm. And timer starts uh, now. So the headline is a tantalizing hint that astronomers got dark energy wrong. On well, Thursday, we know that dark energy is bullshit, John. All of your fucking theoretical concepts are going to be null and void when you come to... Yeah, throw them my feet, John. Let's see what happens. If it's anything better than the last time, tell me. Tell me. On Thursday, uh, this last Thursday, astronomers who are conducting uh, what they describe as the biggest and most precise survey yet of the history of the universe announced that they might have discovered a major flaw in their understanding of dark energy, the mysterious force that is speeding up the expansion of the cosmos. A hundred percent. They, they, <laughs> the surveys they were conducting with the Earth, they were going door to door with the planets. Like, excuse me, uh, how many light years live here? <laughs> Yeah, is there any dark matter present? Maybe uh is there any spaghetti theory in the kitchen we should know about? No. All right, fair enough. 
Uh, moving on. Turns out one of the planets was lying. Ain't that right, John? So turns out theoretically, the shit we made up turns out was a little too made up. And now we made up more shit to make up for the shit we made up before. Huh? Do I have it right on or close? Kind of. So dark matter okay. was assumed, uh, dark energy was assumed to be a constant force in the universe, both currently and throughout cosmic history, constant. But new data suggests that it may be more changeable, growing stronger or weaker over time, reversing or even fading away. Right, because they watch the Harry Potter movies and they see like, hey, if 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 we can keep he who shall not be named powerless, but if he gains power, then we're all fucked. And once they saw that movie, like, you know what? We're rethinking our whole theories here about dark matter. Maybe dark isn't constant and evil. Maybe it can grow. Maybe Maybe the change has been within us the whole time. Turns out... They were watching a bunch of different movies. <laughs> Stay golden, dark uh, energy. <laughs> dark energy. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, dark energy, get him. <laughs> uh, quote, as Biden would say, it's a BFD, said Adam Reese, an astronomer oh, at Johns Hopkins University. Right. Okay. Well, we're gonna believe him now. Oh, you you, qu- you quoted Grandpa Huff fucking Biden. Well, he says that the kids are pretty hip these days. It's a BFD. Fucking a. Well, uh, uh, Rice, uh, or Reese, Rice. I'm gonna say Reese. Uh, shared the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics with two other astronomers for the discovery of dark energy after uh, Peter uh, Higgs discovered dark matter in the 1960s. Right. Uh, uh, so probably there's dark sources. We can find dark. the next one is dark sources. Dark material, dark energy, dark sources. Well, all of this comes from the dark web, so I guess it makes sense. Right. Well, it was a dark and stormy night when we came up with that idea. <laughs> it, it, quote, it may be the first real clue we have gotten about the nature of dark energy in 25 years, he said. <laughs> well, because the shit we had 25 years ago was all made up, so no one thought anything more because it was all fucking make-believe, and someone was like, you know, what's not good about our make-believe? It's not a make-believe. Let's uh, rethink our fucking make believe, John. What the fuck? All right. Well, this conclusion, if confirmed, could liberate everybody oh. because we had a long, with a long-standing grim prediction about the ultimate mm-hmm. fate of the universe. If right. The right. Of dark energy. The, mm-hmm. You might, you might have remembered this from our last time when John said, "Dark energy slips through black holes and it's ever growing, and we know nothing about it, and it eventually will kill all of us." But now, turns out that theory that was based on nothing, we've rethought it. It's like, turns out we have a theory based on nothing else that's like, nah, it won't. So, science, it won't. Well, the prediction Boom, was if, if dark energy is constant, it would eventually push all the stars and galaxies so far apart that even atoms would be torn asunder, sapping the universe of all life, light, energy, and thought, and condemning it to nothingness. Right. Right. Hit your fucking button, dummy. Push the button, Mark. That's what that's what I feel like. You condemn me to a light of darkness and nothing full of angst and woe and fuck offery when you don't push the button, John. But I'm saying all the things that they said because that's what would happen with the leaking of dark matter continuing. But oh, 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 oh. we just found out it's not. Long story might short. Not. Might not. Yeah, it might not have to begin with. Hey, your your marriage might end in divorce or murder or a threesome. But it might not. It might not. <laughs> So what you're saying is science, baby. Fuck yeah. And that is why they pay us the big bucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. 
you and your fucking scientific theories about black holes and energy and you uh, I, I get it, John. Like you're intrigued by that ridiculousness, but everything is so theoretical. Theoretical. If you give me some concrete, specific, definitive inf information that is empirical, proven, like I'm great. But if it's like, you know what, I'm, I think all that bullshit that we made it before is <laughs> necessarily true. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And if it if it was, if it theoretically could be, it's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect my kids. It's not going to affect their kids. So yeah. theoretically, I don't think generationally I should give a fuck. So theoretically, you're wasting my goddamn time and my research dollars. I'm about to hear it now, John. Like, but what about the future? Fuck the future. Those kids don't deserve it. Those kids. Ah, fuck those kids. Come on, get off my lawn, you goddamn hippies. I don't know. What do you call the kids these days? Little fuckers? Yeah, exactly. I call yeah. them little fuckers. Petri dishes. I don't know what that's about, but anyway. So John, I think uh long and short of it, your long and short is kind of null and void. What else well, you got? The short was the long, and the long became the short because, you know, new discoveries. Science, baby. All right, well, I don't know where you're going, what you're doing, but I'm going to go ahead and pour a shot because I feel like that is the most appropriate thing to do when Sean freezes up either emotionally, intellectually, or digitally. Uh, I got one poured already, buddy. No, no, I know you have, and that's why I'm like, I can kill time, do this, and maybe John comes back to normal after I'm ready, and we don't have dead air. That, my friend, is radio science. Radio science. Cheers. Cheers. Beep, beep, beep. Mm. And speaking of radio science, uh, our last segment uh, today is going to be about the history of the internet. Part three. Bob Dole. We moved past him. Come on. Come on. It's old news. All right. Steve Perry, Al Gore. Uh, Dave Batista. Ooh, Dave Batista. Dave Batista. Nice. That makes sense. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, that's buddy. it. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, it turns out that the porn industry is the reason the internet happened in the 1980s. That's it. John, let me give you a little. <sighs> porn was such a driving factor in technology. It was such a driving factor of, of the zeitgeist of American society for such a long time until we had the ability to have it at our fingertips. And then be, it became a non sequitur. Um, when, when you had VHS and beta coming out, the only reason technologically that VHS won is because the porn industry released, decided to release their videos on VHS instead of beta. Same with Blu-ray and HD DVD. Porn went with Blu-ray, HD DVD went to shit. Even though things were better quality, there was like... On both ends, right? On both ends. It was just like, oh, what can you make cheaper? What can you mass produce for a cheaper rate? There you go. Yep. It's just... We're, so yeah, of course internet is. John, I feel like the... Any fad. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any off the top of my head. Can't think of it, but but it's no longer a, a a thing because now porn is so prevalent. Anyone, anyone with a phone who doesn't have a child lock is going to be able to. And I put a fucking child lock on mine. Uh, for gave John you. the password for me. I don't I don't trust myself. It's not worth it, John. <laughs> not worth it. Well, do you remember when uh, they were trying to uh, remove porn from uh, fans only, and that just yeah. super backfired? Yeah, no way. 
that's I was like, well, we will remove our account and we will not post any more videos if they do that. <laughs> There's no porn on ours, but I mean, I, I, I stand with the community. Yeah, solidarity. Yeah. I had to pick lines with anyone, man. <laughs> Fucking union. Fuck yeah, down with the man. <laughs> So, yeah, the sources of uh, this episode of Two Sided have been uh, first segment NASA, uh, USA Today, Washington.edu, and CNN. Uh, second segment, uh, the porn industry. And the short, short, uh, the New York Times. <laughs> second segment. Man, I, I've done seen a lot of shit. All right. And the short, short was New York Times. <laughs> I'll have you know that research for the segment, second segment, I have never enjoyed research as much. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the sites or the links, but I will say it was thorough. It was well documented. It was long and drawn out. <laughs> I had complaints from, from my partner and the neighbors. Nothing if not for the craft. I am a journalist who does <laughs> podcasting about porn. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I'll be in my office researching. This is my time. <laughs> Fucking idiot. An idiot. That's awesome. Look, <laughs> internet. I like what you, I like what your style is, man. I like how you're. <laughs> I like what you're doing. I see what you're doing, and I like. Yeah, we still have three segments. <laughs> What's the last one? The fucking last one tonight was porn. What was about ah, nothing. It was just... Well, internet. What about internet? Porn. Porn. What are the sources? Porn. You guys are fucking hustling out there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we're a, we're a three segment crew. We're running three segments. Every uh, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. That's 4 a.m. Greenwich Mean Witch Sandwich Time if you're across the pond on Wednesdays. And if you can't catch us live on the stereo app or the YouTube those times, you can catch us on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music. You can catch us on Fans Only, Farmers Only, Patreon, Patronus. Patron, we drink a lot of, but that is neither here nor there. Um... We were also on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we're on um, a lot of a lot of bathroom walls. If you travel on Route sixty six, <laughs> we we do a lot of uh, advertisement there. <laughs> it's it's only our handle at two sided pod, all lowercase, all one word at two sided pod. That's where you're gonna hit uh, all of our links. So. For a good time every Tuesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. That's 4 a.m. Green, which means sandwich time. Look up at Two Sided Pod, all lowercase, all one word, no underscores. It's very difficult to put on all the bathroom walls, and our pens run out quite often, but we're dedicated, and that is what the art form demands. Ain't that right, John? That's right. Uh, you said something about Thursdays. What about Thursdays? Thursdays is where we sharpen our knives and we make our battle plans to come back every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. Thursday is when we get together the inner sanctum, the inner circle, the uh, the think tank, the uh, the shenanigan mobile, the uh, the prison pocket. Yeah, right. That's where the fucking sausage is made, folks. <laughs> this shit doesn't just happen. All by itself, Tuesdays, all just willy-nilly. There's a lot of planning, a lot of uh, organization. We have to get the uh, safety inspectors. We're, we're, just so you know, if anyone's watching, we are fully OSHA compliant. Um, all of finally, our... Finally, finally. Well, right. It has been six days since our last accident. Uh, I mean, now it's time for your favorite game and mine. Uh, my boy Pete, what's the through line? All I can think about is porn right now, John. So what is the through line? The through line, the through line, the through line that we're talking about, John. Um, I 
Eclipse. Huh? Um, we might not be dying because this old man died for our sins. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the dark energy, dark matter. Yep. Yeah, uh, William Tell, the old uh, Jesus scientist. He he died. He was resurrected three days later. This fucking dark energy that got him out of the fucking. Am I mixing my holidays and my fucking scientists? Oh no, that's the one we skipped because of the other holiday. God, every time. All right. And finally, uh, the internet part three, right? Right. Uh, so cyclical. We're we're talking about things that happen in cycles. We're talking about um, breakthroughs. Uh, standards. Here's the places where we can jump off where we are our knowledge uh, can uh, can can grow exceeding can, can exponentially grow in, in these moments, these small moments we either learn oh look there's the sun or oh, probably not dying because it was probably bullshit before, or, or porn. <laughs> but these are all fucking things that have changed our trajectory and what our focuses are in life and how we see the world. Am I am I getting close? Am I getting close? Should I keep going? I'll uh, keep going. Well, uh, you're getting close, but you should keep going. <laughs> no, here's the deal, John. If there's one thing I've learned about in life and in all the court proceedings in California that I've stood in front of many an honorable judge, if you just keep talking enough, actually, you're going to find the right answer. But until then, John, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to take a good, long, reflective look at what you asked and what I think what I wasn't doing, I wasn't hearing you, right? I think the problem was me the whole time. So what you asked was, what is the through line of these three things? Yeah? Yes, yes. And the three things that we said that we just, that you corrected me on were... The eclipse. The eclipse. Uh, dark energy. Uh, new dark understanding. Energy. Energy. Yeah. And, and the, the internet. internet. Part three. Part three. Right, right. Because part one and two fit totally into the other ones. They're not red herrings at all. Folks, if you don't know what a red herring is, you can join our Patreon. We'll explain it in part one of John's exceptional misnomers. Anyway. No, I feel like I was right on the path because if I'm going to disregard this one, it's like, oh, it's celestial moments it's moments in time it's moments of change it's moments of growth it's moments of understanding it's 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 understanding driven technology it's it's fuck your couch time here at the okay corral it's john and pete's shit show meets uncle daddy's laughatorium <laughs> ha ha hole in the back Oh, yeah, you can smoke, but you got to go back to the ha-ha hole. Bing, bing, bing. Did, you get, did, you, did you get a wristband? Did you get a wristband to come back and say? If you go to the ha-ha hole without a wristband, you can't come back in. There's no insies, outsies without wristbands. There is re-entry, but only with protection. Yeah, right. Goddamn straight. Goddamn straight. No, that's right, my boy Pete. It is all about uh, who moved my cheese. You're, you're a fucking idiot. You're such a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. It's times like these where I wish I would have listened to the Galactic Super Friends and just drowned you in a ditch in Northern California when I had the chance. <sighs> Retrospect. Am I right, Don? <laughs> Retrospect. Hey, we're all having fun here. Uh, we... My boy, Pete. Before we get out of this, uh, is there anything from this episode you'd like to take a second glance at, a second look, a second thought, a second opinion? This is Pete's Retraction Corner. Well, yeah, first I'd like to, I know you're going to say things, but we haven't even talked about how no one needs to leave this goddamn room. This John's wrapping things up and 
No one needs to go anywhere. Everybody fucking stay put. Sit in your hands. Fucking sit in your hands. You guys put your goddamn keys in the bowl. Oh, wait. That's a different party. Actually, you know what? Everybody put your keys in the bowl. We'll see what happens. <laughs> fucking sit in your hands. No one's going anywhere. But also, it's going to be fun. Seriously. <laughs> but we're going to we're gonna be here after we're going to finish this up. I guess my retraction corner, John, now that I see your face, I don't feel like maybe you had this all planned out. My attraction corner, I should just trust you and i don't i feel like when you've been burned so many times by <laughs> this fucking guy this just this fucking entity <laughs> who is in front of you he's just <clears throat> look at him it's just you know you know when a child comes up to the fucking zoo and smashes on the glass and the fucking gorilla comes over and starts like looking in oh, oh, oh. that's that's like when I talk about you you're like the big gorilla in the glass you come up to the mirror <laughs> so you're the horrible child just smashing from the glass yeah I'm a fucking kid on vacation John let me have fucking fun with my family you're here for fucking show Bobo you stay in your goddamn corner or you don't get no bananas. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Think, think, think. <laughs> oh. oh, well, thanks for listening, everybody. We have our open chat show continuing for those listening live on the Serio app or YouTube right now. So if you're hearing this live, regardless of the platform, stick around. And if you want to, uh, if you're hearing it later and you want to uh, join us in our green room for the after show wind down, so you want to throw some topics out there, email two sided pod at gmail.com. That's T W O sided pod at gmail.com. That's a wrap for tonight. I'm John L. Peacock out in Brooklyn, New York. I'm my boy Pete in Southern California, and I feel like I need to say a couple things to John before he goes. Because, John, make sure you plug in your thing. So, nope, nope. Or make sure you hurry back. Can you hurry back? Yeah, hurry back. And this was in our Southern show. California. You can eavesdrop wherever you get your podcast and even join us live, both on the YouTube channel handle at two sided pod, all one word, and the stereo app. Every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, as we talk about the two sides of life, the fun and the serious, here on Two Sided. Love you, Pete. Love you, John. See your fucking ass in the green room. Nope. Nope. Boom! Baby, boom. Oh shit, John! You're... There you go. Look at him, folks. He's a big dumb animal. He's a big llama who must be destroyed. Counting down, and we are out. We are officially in the green room, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Holy shit, children of all ages. Um, yeah. I guess we'll pull this up. John's going to be back in a hot minute. As we know, anyone who's anybody knows the format of the show. Uh, we finish the show. John runs away to weep gently into the closet. And we start the green room. John comes back thoroughly refreshed, thinking about his life and where he's gone wrong, learning nothing all along the way. Folks, we are the two-sided. 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays. That's Wednesdays, 4 a.m. Greenwich Mean for Sandwich Time, if you're across the pond. We got John L. Peacock coming in hot here in the... Look at him. He listened. He can be taught, folks, ladies and gentlemen. He's not here for a long time. He's here for a ginger time. And I feel like... That's all you could ask of your local ginger. I, you know what? I can't even imagine when they say, put yourself in someone else's shoes. I can't think I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine. 
living John's life, wearing those shirts, having that uh, ability to to look good sense dead in the eye and say, not today, good sense. I'm John L. Peacock. It's those things. It's a little, uh, I just, I want to live vicariously. And that is why Two-Sided Pod works so good. I hear John's exploits. He's out there turning, turning people away from passage to New York City. He's working immigration. John's like, John's a theatrical version of an ICE agent. And I feel like um, if he disagreed with me, he'd come in, but he doesn't. So I think we're we're right on far there. John, I'm going to open this up and see, because you have to... Oh, there he is, folks. There's something about this show that makes John have to, I'm not going to say what he's doing, but he's, um, all right, he's bathing in gasoline. He has to rinse himself of everything that's happened this entire show. It's, it's, it's basically like if you did an exorcism and you come out of there and you're, you're covered in fucking slime and the evil of the the one who possessed the the poor soul. Yeah, you need to bathe. And Ivory Spring, Ivory Spring, doesn't matter. Just won't do it. Ain't that right, John? I don't know, bud. Anyway, thank you so much. We got a lot of people here. We got uh. MFA, we got Julie Prunes out here. I can't even see since John didn't give me some admin rights. Well, go figure. John's holding on to everything. I ask, I ask for a star. He gives me a a no go. Here he comes. Well, you should probably unmute first on both. You're doing good. Anyway, folks, we're here every Tuesday. 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, 4 a.m. Greenwich Mean Sandwich Time on Wednesdays. Uh, if you are, uh... yeah, we get a... hey, there he is. We get a little, uh... a little something going here. All right, John, take it away because turns out we. Uh... Yes, the sponsor is John's going to talk about right now. Uh, our sponsors tonight are um, uh, St. Jerry's. St. Jerry's. Uh, it's uh, slightly higher octane than your average whiskey uh, or rum or vodka or tequila. Uh, usually not mezcal, but scotch, um, Irish whiskey, uh, Canadian whiskey. Uh, the other ones, you know, liqueurs, obviously much higher. Anyway, it's a, uh, it's a rum and it has a dude and he's not standing on a barrel cause that's uh cat Morgan, but, uh, he's a sailor. His name is Jerry and is, he's a little spicy and, uh, he's one of our sponsors tonight. The other sponsor is, uh, check, uh, old crow, Dr. James Crow's old crow. Uh, it's from Kentucky. It's a straight bourbon whiskey. It's a, the original sour mash, which um, Jack Daniels is actually a sour mash, not a bourbon, because it's from Tennessee. And holy shit, you're the fucking worst, John. Holy shit. We're uh, our sponsor. Our sponsors are. All of the things that I can read to you around me, uh, and I'll describe to you the color orange. Orange. It's a cross between a red and a not so much red. Uh, this is like fucking Sesame Street for alcoholics, John. 
Uh, so <laughs> it's like a rum, but not a rum. It's more than this and this and this and this. You're just gonna name things. Oh, uh, on Dasher and Dancer and Vodka and Whiskey, on Rum, on Tupac, on Biggie, and no, Diddy. <laughs> John, John. If you don't have the appreciation for Sailor Jerry now, if you're talking about a guy and maybe a barrel, if you don't know Sailor Jerry was a tattoo artist who was known for his tattoo art of of the fucking hula girl. That is the Sailor logo. It's the hula girl. But he had all the World War II specific you see those classic uh greaser tats like i don't Mom, know what sure the you're around there yeah kind of those it's the it's the it's the slit crew like i don't know if you where you have them i'm sure you have them out there i'm not 100 percent. but yeah like the it's it's those kind of tats and he's in it he was the one who invented them and perfected them and it's, uh like uh, it's uh, not Jimmy Buffett said uh, the it's not a spicy whiskey, John. It's not a spicy rum. That's the it? great thing. It has a spice to it, but it's not spiced. It's not like a uh, Captain Morgan's. It's not like the uh, Admiral Nelson. It's not like the. Uh, the Kraken. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not it's not spiced like that it's a dark rum but it's not as it, even Bacardi, it's not as spicy as Bacardi it's more like a it has a flavor of like a white rum because their alcohol content is so much high so it doesn't have that sweet flavor of the spice I don't know it's the best one and gets you fucked up John Sailor Jerry, get you fucked up. Also, <laughs> we're brought to you by Circle Space. Smirkle, circle Space for all your, your porn needs. If you want to have a website dedicated to just porn sites you visit, well, Circle Space has all the formats that could possibly... <laughs> also, Green Apron. Green Apron. We send you a bunch of marijuana seeds and some soil. And a fucking hippie who comes to your house once a week and says, like, hey, you're not doing it right, man. You fucking, you fucking do it fucking different, man. Also, Casper the Ghost, Casper the Ghost mattresses. A, a small child dies on every bed we sell. That's a fact. <laughs> Cast for the ghost mattresses. Well, the uh, cir Circle Space did actually drop us, so we had to go with their competitor, uh, Circle Jerk uh, website. So, Jesus. The first one to complete their fucking website gets to fucking have it for free. Oh, 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 oh. Finish, finish, finish. Gotta finish it. <laughs> Come on, fuck, finish, finish. <laughs> Fucking drag and drop, drag and drop. That's why I don't do technology, John. I'm going to fucking get involved in any fucking circle jerk, circle space bullshit. That's your marketing. I'm the talent, baby. I don't fuck with that shit. Well, Bukaki websites did undercut them, but we have uh, some uh, morals around Jesus, here, so we didn't go with them. Jesus, man. Come on, man. There's ways. There's ways to get to the line without saying the words. That hey, John. Here's a list of fucking trigger words. Like if you need to know you're going over the line and say these words. Bukaki. Cunt. What Doctor. other words are there? <laughs> John, I'm not done yet. I'm reading you a list. Don't try and interrupt me. I have the list right here, John. Oh, I'm. I'm yes, please go. No, shut the fuck up. I'm starting from the top. It, it also, if you'll notice, it has it has uh, the teamwork hands. 
of, of a bunch of multicolored people because none of us can be as offensive as all of us, right? So it's Bukaki. Cunt. Fuck stick. <laughs> Come tard. Dick holster. <laughs> and those are the big five, Joan. <laughs> that, and that is what we need to avoid. <laughs> unless we know what we're trying to elicit, John. Those are last resort words, John. You gotta, come on, bud. I think half of them were what uh, George Carling threw out when he did the seven things you can't say on TV. <laughs> right. No, no. Well, the whole thing is he wasn't alive for podcasts. You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them, John. It's a big thing. Because right. his shit, bitch, fuck, cock, suck, mother, motherfucker, all of those, those are good. Those are all free game now. The ones I said, and we only get one run on that, so I'm not going to do it again because we're being watched by the FCC, the FDA, right. and the and PBS. Did you know we're being... <laughs> Looked at for a, a segment called uh, "Who Fucked My Couch." It's a little kid segment <laughs> after three, two, one contact and and uh, the electric company. It's a yeah, it's, right. yeah. We're gonna see what we can do. I'm trying to get us mainstream with the kids, John. With the kids. <laughs> I heard you were uh, uh, in the running for Mister Conductor. Well, yeah, no. <sighs> You heard wrong, John. You heard that I was I was a conductor running a train on those PPS execs. <laughs> George Carlin and Alec Baldwin have nothing on you. I shoot first, take pictures, and then ask questions and for money later in the blackmail letters. <laughs> Well, sure, yeah, they, they get mad at you if you don't make with the head, but, you know. <laughs> of course I live by the rule of road. Good book. <laughs> and for those who followed us, you can do the uh, weird uh, references in a row by both Pete and John on your bingo card. Yeah, John, that's the thing that I... I stay up thinking about it at night, John. I'll be honest. I thought for sure on the two-sided pod, three-year anniversary, that you would have given me six bingo cards, two times three, and the thing I want most of my life, bingo cards. I thought you would have done that. Granted, I was going to send you some fucking drugs in the mail, but they got picked up. <laughs> so, no harm, no foul. We both uh, lose at life. Were they picked up by you? Yes. Yes, they were. <laughs> I put them in a box, and then I took them right out of the box. <laughs> they never made it to the station. I don't know. Hey, man. Fucking postal service, am I right? <laughs> right. Can't trust them, bud. <laughs> You're going to blame the USPS for your fuck up, son? Not on my watch. Oh, shit. This postal man, Pete, coming to fuck shit up. <laughs> and now it's How time for you... another segment with postal man, Pete. How could you tell he's a postman? Look at his goddamn shorts and his legs. He can't get calves like that not walking around every day with tan lines of a tube sock. This fucking God. What's new, Postman Pete? Well, I tell you what. Packages are uh, being delivered. Giggity goo. Hey, that's Postman Pete. I bet he's a mailman. How can you tell? It's little balls. It's little balls. They're fucking two sacks of packages, you asshole. <laughs> like I like I'd work. I have good sized balls. I'm just not You guys are fucking dicks. I'm gonna get a new route. You guys suck. Uh do we have any packets? No, man. That's the oh, thing. No. 
That's we're on our own. No, no, no. It's not. Oh no, John. It's truly not. Oh no, because this is this is truly where the rubber meets the road, right? I told you, I told you we need to have more time, more time to just talk. We're looking. The packets are great because they're great jump off places that give great conversations, and now it's a interactive thing. Like <sighs> inquiring minds, John. Inquiring minds want to know about you. They want to know about me. They want to know what what happens when no one's around. Is there a, if there's a podcast on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, that's 4 a.m. Green, which means sandwich time Wednesdays in the forest and no one's around to hear it. Are John and Pete still as funny? And the answer yeah. is um Actively, yeah. Actively, probably a lot more. <laughs> because we don't have boundaries. And we're not doing bits. We're not... I'm not as angry as him, and he's not as stupid as he appears. But you guys you guys got to understand. If I can pull the curtain back. John is actually debonair, a Rhodes Scholar, fucking a man about town. He just plays a fucking drungo drunken ginger on Tuesdays the show. And my boy Pete isn't actually as angry, uh, uh, just vile, uh, just yeah. kind of like a bad person that you see on Tuesdays. Right. He actually, he actually is uh, slightly less. That's it. I've cast my right, John. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> whatever we got to do, pay them fucking bills, bud. <laughs> little peek behind the curtain, folks. Little something, little something there. But yeah, that's a. We are we are have recorded one. We're going to record more, but we're going to be putting up on our. If anyone's listening, who has one, or anyone who's listening who wants one, we give really great back rows. No, hold on. We have a uh, our Patreon. We're we're putting up our fucking the shit that got us here. Our our personal chats where we just just John and I chop it up as human beings and not characters. But but aren't we all characters, John? My mom said always have a good character, so yeah. My mom said take all the silver you can once we leave this house. Yeah, uh, but we won't be on the stereo. We won't be on the YouTubes. There's no live version of that, right? It's just going to be us chopping it up over the Zoom and completely unedited. We're going to uh, put that on to the Patreon. So we haven't had a little bit of a... Uh, we've had a little gap right. of new content going up there, especially since we took away the exclusivity of the green room, which, you know, we wanted to give that to the people, give the people what they want. But... We realize that's for the that, children, John. That's we're for the a children. fucking. It's, it's for the, after you burned down that orphanage. We felt like we had to give something back to the youth. The community. allegedly. I mean, I'm 99 percent sure they're children. They are all playing for the Little League World Series. So that dude is shaving, <laughs> but I think he's <laughs> nine. I'm pretty sure he's fucking nine. I don't know. Oh, little Ricky. Ricky. Uh... How come he's kissing his wife and dropping his kids <laughs> off next door? What the fuck? <laughs> Is he smoking? <laughs> Fucking Ricky. That little rat scallion. <laughs> tykes will be tykes, you know? I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. You shouldn't be within, within a thousand yards of the school, John. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Patreon, huh? <laughs> Bro, we should probably cut. It. Doesn't matter. Fucking keep your head covered. Let's cut through. Shh. Come on, John. Let's go. <laughs> Told you we should have got an Uber. <laughs> Come on, 
on, Jim. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny enough for a shot. I know that. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'll drink with you. I'll fucking drink. But but let's, dude. It's still pretty fucking early. Let's get let's get a little let's get a little fucking down to it. Right. Let's fucking let's do a shot. Let's have a smoke, and then let's fucking figure it out. Okay. Because okay. I have a couple ideas. I have a couple. I have a couple thoughts. A couple questions. A couple uh, things that I should have. No, it's not Pete's retraction corner because I, I, I John, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish your show. Your show's your fucking precious. Your show's your baby. I'm not gonna fuck with your goddamn style, baby. You get it. You do well. I love it. You do amazing. That being said. But, that being said, <laughs> fuck man, I have so many things I just like, <laughs> fuck shit up with halfway through. It's like Burr! I get half a comment and like I would I would derail this goddamn train right here. I would drive this shit into a cliff if I could. Like Burr! we need to go this way, John. I have questions for you. Because now now's the time on two sided where I get to fucking shine. And it's not I don't I don't shine often, John. But when I do, John, it's not often. You call men from Florida to you? The fuck did you say to me? Uh, that they get into your mansion in, in Colorado and then your dad whacks him with an axe when you shine. Oh wow, that was a that was a that was a rough one. That was a rough one. <laughs> I'll drink with Johnny makes Peter something something. <laughs> I'll figure it out after this next shot, John. <laughs> bink, bink, bink. <laughs> All right, bud. So, riddle me this. Okay. Riddle me this, right? Let's not get into the basics of like, oh, what are your wants, needs, goals, ambitions, hopes, dreams? Actually, no. Let's get into that. I don't want to get into your day to day. No one cares about your fucking day to day, John. I don't. I certainly don't. No, <laughs> we can tell by your fucking posts you put on Instagram. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> We can tell by your lack of a buttoned-up shirt on a Tuesday. You don't care. What does the face of a man giving up on life look like? That. <laughs> so, Sean, let me ask you this. If you... realistically okay. because I'm not going to say one of the big things be like oh if you win the lotto if you do this if you have unlimited money if you right no I'm not going to go there because that's a fucking different thing it will change your change your purview right right you do win the lottery you win a hundred thousand dollars not millions, hundred thousand. You get taxes taken out. You're down to like seventy four. What would you do with your taxable winnings? Oh, realistically, oh, this is a stupid answer. Realistically, can I go slightly not realistic? I'll tell you what the what uh, the realistic one is after. Yeah, but that's not it, John, because we all know you're a very boring person. So, no. What would you slightly... I want to know what is a slightly, and then tell me what the difference is. So, yeah, what is a slightly? Because, like, uh, and I'd get two different flavors of popsicles, not just one. You tell them, bud. You're the owner of this house. 
uh, slightly um, traveled. Uh, places I haven't been, places I want to go, uh, Morocco, South Africa, uh, uh, Tokyo, you know, Hong Kong, several other places in back to Europe as well, South America. Um, that's, that's what I would with a hundred thousand that that's very reasonable. Right. Right. Yep. And that's your, but realistically, uh, pay back my student loans because, uh, Biden didn't get them forgiven this fuck guy <laughs> so your your dream is to travel and go to these exotic places your real is i don't even see it it just gone <laughs> it just goes away <laughs> okay well how do you how are you living day to day yep, same huh Fair enough. Okay. Hmm. Wow. What about you, my puppy? <laughs> John, <coughs> easy answer. Black market toddler racing. I've not heard of this. Say more. No, no one has, John. That's why it's going to be such a big fucking thing. I know a lot of fucking dads who have toddlers by themselves in the daytime, right? Uh -huh. You get a warehouse. You get a fucking ring. Small. Like, it's little. It's like a playpen. Like, everything's, everything's fucking safe. And you make those fucking kids race. And you can handicap them. Like, oh, this one has to eat fucking two things of applesauce before he gets back in the ring. Like, oh, shit. This one is about to stay up past his nap time before the big race. <laughs> Who wants in? Who wants in? Toddle racing? You're going to go toddle all racing. in on toddle racing? Uh, it's a big new thing, John. You need to be ahead of the curve. Right, pickleball, it's too late. Pickleball, it's too late. Way, way too late. Way too late. Right? You, you get into the ground floor, you get the fucking that startup cash. It's that pyramid money. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah. It's that it's that triangle top dollar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The total dollar. Saying, bud. Right. Yeah. The total dollar. <laughs> yeah. All right, but. But fucking realistically, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, the boring one. Yeah, yeah. Be toddler fights. Like, <laughs> we say they're racing them. We're not racing them. We're not. No. We like, clip their ears so they can't be identified. Right. <laughs> In this corner. <laughs> Weighing 28 pounds, <laughs> standing one foot two inches, <laughs> Devin McAllister, <laughs> and fine, out of Detroit, Michigan, Connor Sutcliffe, weighing in at a hot 31, you fucking fat fuck. Get some. <laughs> Fight! I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing yeah. away my... <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. We're going to make them fight. All right. You will fight till the sleep. <laughs> Who's ready to nap? John, it's going to be great. <laughs> It's going to be great. Um, and also, if this works out well, I'll spin off a daycare, you know, to pay the bills. Day to day, oh, keep right. the lights on. Keep the lights on in the fucking toddler facility. <laughs> you know, it's a dream. It's a it's a thing. It's open right? a prayer. It's a... <sighs> when they asked me what you wish you could do, well, I said I didn't know. I said I can only think about keeping my, my toilet bowls 
springtime fresh and clean as a whistle. But when I really sat and thought about it, I said, mm, toddler fights. And I've never looked back. <laughs> toddler fights. <laughs> Sponsoring the two sided pod. <laughs> Let's get ready to nap. My boy Pete's always wanted to be a toddler racing enthusiast, but uh, unfortunately, he had to go for the boring route of toddle fights. No, dude. I don't give a shit about racing, but you know me. Underground is where it's at. So That's again, true. Once, once I saw the Fast and Furious Babies edition, <laughs> I was like, it's all about family and fucking children. Toddlers. Fucking fighting. I was like, That's great. That's a I mean, I'm souls. I like that they combine the two universes of the Fast and the Furious and uh, Baby Driver. Right when they tried to when they tried to pitch uh, Mini Driver as the mother, I was like, "That's just too many drivers." <laughs> like, wait, like I. Don't... You like them drivers? How about Mini Driver? I was like, I didn't like her in that one. I don't want her in this project. Besides, she's uh, an irony. She says big, but uh, she says small, but she is big. Come on. You've seen her head. John, we don't we don't head shame around here. We very, very rarely talk about the size of your fucking fro, your lack of coordination and how you bobble your goddamn way through life. So we don't bring it up to other people, John. We're accepting podcasts. No body shaming, no kink shaming, no yucky, no yums in this place, baby. You know better. Get your fucking head on straight, bud. At least I don't promote myself as many. Anyway, we got to pop it to pip it. You're just... You're just looking for a way out. You're like a... You're like a Russian seaman in a submarine stuck at the bottom of the ocean with... Sean Connery just looking to get out. Just pop the packet. Eject, 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 eject. No, if you keep thinking like that, we'll know where you are. We'll depth charge you. Shut the fuck up, Sean. Oh, shit. He's fucking here. Greetings and salutations to all the fine folks of the foundation. John L. Peacock Esquire. I repeat, Pimpernel's to come to readiness. I'll bring Pimpernel to readiness. Pimpernel's to come to readiness. I repeat, Pete, 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 Pimpernel. Readiness. Well done, Pimpernel. Well done, Pimpernel. Pimpernel. Well done, Pimpernel. Pay attention, all of you. God damn, that was fucking fantastic. John, it's 10.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's 1.26 a.m. Eastern Standard on Wednesdays. It's also like a morning time on Wednesday <laughs> in the U.K. Sun coming up time. Yeah. Cock doodle don't. I'm just saying... <laughs> I'm giving that to the Galactic Super Friends of the beep, beep, like, if you, mm-hmm, okay, fair enough. Dub, just so you know, Dub, just so you know, Dub, I didn't want to do it. I put my heels in the sand. I drew a, a, I drew a line and then another line and then two lines the other way. And then I did an X in the corner because you always start in the corner. <laughs> but then I said, oh, Dub, we're doing a commercial about Dub. And I said, oh, no, fuck Dub. It's not even here. And we did one. It was great. And now you're here. <laughs> you're drinking again. Fuck Dub. Wow. <laughs> Fucking Dub. Dublovian. No. We are very Dublovian. Our... Oh, we're so Dublovian because that's the thing. It's like he just, he's, uh, 
he did a thing and I was already pouring shots like we should not be drinking this <laughs> time of night. <laughs> we're talking about toddler racing. We can't be drunk fucking when we're doing it when we're the founders of a fucking whole new fight league. Well, yeah. What would we look like? It's the but boring anyway, version. Toddle fights. Here we are. Cheers pink, up. Pink, pink. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. 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 Actively? No. Poor decisions. Heavy alcohol intake. And two sided pod. Coming at you live. We go together like Rama Lama and Shroom and Sing Shadang Shadong. Just oh. like two shots, and we're smoking them and drinking them. We don't shoot, though, because we don't like needles. Allegedly, bang, 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 Can't believe I said that out loud, man. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> Did she have um, scars on her arm? Fuck you so bad. I I go down a horrible road. This is these are the roads. These are the, these are the days of our lives. These are the kinds of interactions you get when you don't send messages, folks. Because if you like what you've heard, if you are not entertained. Are you not entertained? Well, tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your parole officer. Tell your local neighborhood ginger. If you don't have one, you can email one at twosidedpod at gmail.com. That's <laughs> T-W-O sidedpod at gmail.com. Reach out and threaten your local ginger. <laughs> So horrible. So horrible. So, uh, how you been? <laughs> John, you're the most awkward guy <laughs> I have I have truly ever met. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> this be I don't know why, but I can see John having that exact same delivery in a lot of situations. Hey. Hey Ben. Walking up to a group of people standing there in the middle. So I was telling my ex-wife and I said, You're not gonna get visitation rights with the kids. Hey. Hey, how you been? You're like a child wandering into a movie, Donnie. <laughs> Conversations do not start and stop at your convenience. Ah, uh, I've never surfed. And I wasn't with a hooker last night. <laughs> you know, shout out to uh, Ben Affleck or Matt Damon, whatever what one that one is. The J Lo guy, you know the Dunkin' Donuts guy. Let's, you know what, John? It's if you're gonna give shout outs, let's go ahead and give shout outs to uh, number one, us. <laughs> Hello, we're fantastic. <laughs> number two, anyone tuning in live, live with the stereo streams, handful of listeners here. We got the Foxes, hell yeah, we got Dub, we got Jizzy Prunes, Uncle Daddy's left. I mean, feels like you're all fuck your cows. <laughs> What's happening? That's nothing, John. It's adult talk. You shut your fucking mouth and let the adults have their fucking fun, John. <laughs> Caroline, lolly, good. Oh, fucking. 
We got Bloku again. We got Weird Al Yanka. Yanka. We got Weird Al. We got the Huntress. Like in Bill Nye. Oh shit. Okay. And there's a there's a there's a handful of heads up here on our YouTube. We got we got Moan up. Yes. Did you miss anything? All right, John. <sighs> Folks, this is the time of the two sided pod where we start over. John's gonna go back through the same thing. Little did you know this was not a improv show, it was all scripted. We're gonna go back and say the exact same fucked up shit. Well, awesome, howdy. So good. So good when you when you keep it, it so good. My man. I do things. <laughs> For those watching us on YouTube, you can see how very held back my boy Pete is right now. He is a uh, a, a dam that is cracking, and somehow one little boy's uh, finger is holding it all back. Oh, John! <laughs> all right, you went finger in the dike. <laughs> I was going to go a little beaver action, but uh, apparently we met at the same uh, flow. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jesus, John. Who, who else we got on the YouTubes? I don't know. I don't have admin rights. You do. <clears throat> You're the only one who can see who's on. I am, I am but a lowly listener. I am but... Away from the field. I'm a weeping willow against your mighty oak fucking goddamn admin privileges. You, sir, have stunted my growth as a host in the show. They say the host with the most. I say the host with the nopes is the anti most, the lesser of. They said, what are the lesser of two evils? I'm like, I'm the lesser of two permissions. Huh. Right? I guess. Stop dragging my... Stop dragging my... Nope. Nope. <laughs> hey, pop that back in. I'm watching live on the YouTubes. Um, I'd like to see John's chest, by which I don't mean like more buttons undone because there are no buttons. I'd like to know what logo it will, like what's on your t-shirt? Cause I can see part of a graphic, but I can't see all of it. Could you please uh, maybe explain to people who are just listening, not watching, or just, um, you know, get close to the camera for the, the YouTubes. Thanks, I feel like, and now it's making me feel seedy. I feel like this should be only fans, only fathers. Thank only you, just, okay, you. love you, bye. Uh, could you also? It's the dollop. Uh, one of our favorite podcasts. Um, also, uh, Julie, just so you know, if you give uh, ten dollars to to our OnlyFans uh, PayPal. John will spit in the camera for you. No, oh, no, John. No, spit. No, no, not down there. Spit in the camera. Oh, oh, sorry. Like, All right. All right. This, is going, this is going a weird way. I feel like I feel like you brought this on all of us, Jules. You also know you can't ask John for, hey, anything around you, near you, on you, what you're doing. If you bring it up to him, he's going to make it the really? forefront of everybody's knowledge. <laughs> you guys you guys asked about what I was reading. I'm going to show you a bunch of books. What are you drinking? I'm going to read off ingredients. 
You like shirts? I'm I'm gonna sweat through them if they don't have buttons. <laughs> How are you fucking sweating? It's cold as fuck out there. Oh, it was it was seventies today. It was actually the hottest day of the year so far. And humid. And you know how sensitive you're, I am to humidity. You're never you're never gonna make it this year. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is the year John L. Peacock dies from the weather in New York City. Let it be known, let it be spoken, let it be heard all across the land. 4, 9, 24, 10, 39 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That could be 4, 10 if you're somewhere else. But fuck you if you are. John will die this year due to climate change. So, or a, <laughs> or a fucking angry partner. Either way, <laughs> fucker's dead. Anyway, so does that change your fucking answer? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, pick that puppet. Holy shit, John! If you're in trouble, just blink twice. Or once, if you can only get air. The piece of equipment I'd like to talk to you about today is the paint. It's an indispensable piece of kit. I've had it for four years. I use it when I finish performing for the day as a fantastic tool to exercise the embouchure muscles. The two exercises are with the disc in the mouth and pull, and it gives you a great burn round here. You can use it from 30 seconds upwards. I'm up to about five minutes. Don't really feel the need to do any more than that. John, I didn't know you had such a lovely accent when you did your interview with the BBC. God, you code switch so quickly, don't you? I have that T-shirt. I have that T-shirt. I have exactly the same T-shirt. I have that T-shirt. I wear it better, just saying. I don't know why, but I feel like this is like this is my move on a date. Like, oh, you have that. What else? You have the same tattoo. You have a tattoo here. Let me see your tattoo. Let me see your other tattoo. All of a sudden, like, how are we both not wearing clothes? That's crazy. Anyway, show me your show me your shirt. I'll show you mine, Jules. Show your dollop, I'll show you mine. Are you back? Are you, you you are just begging? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't call to come back. I've always been here. <laughs> Rocking my peers, booking. Putting suckers in <laughs> all sorts of fear. Jesus. Make it rain down like a monsoon. Listen to the bass go very loud in your ears. Explosion! Overpowering. Jesus Christ, John. LL Cool J would turn over in his grave. <laughs> If he <laughs> were dead, <laughs> if he were dead, or if he were canceled from NCIS somewhere, <laughs> there ain't no thing as a halfway criminal. All right, so no, Mona's here and she's very upset with what's happening, <laughs> understandably, understandably, but I'm. I want to reach out to you. What would be, what would be a good, a good lyric that would follow up with a fucking John L. Peacock reference? Um, oh, I can't think. Like I, in the moment, I can't think of the. I, I'm thinking the twelve. Full crack commandments. Uh, stick and move, stick and no. Why don't you give her a John L. Peacock reference and, uh, and <coughs> leave it? Leave it to the professionals. 
No, no, because the John L. Peacock reference wouldn't fit in. Like you need to like, oh, what how would John L. Peacock say um Oh my god. I'm I, I'm blanking on fucking like easy one. I'm blanking on Dre. I'm blanking on Snoo uh fuck. So I know, I know, I know. What is a fucking song? What is a fucking verse? Uh hit uh Oh uh uh 2001 dude 2001 uh So so you uh shit Fucking shit, I can't even think of it. This has been our time ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I give. I actively like. I. I, I could only think like now. The only thing that goes in my head is LL Cool J. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> like that's all I can think of. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a callback. Don't call it a comeback because it was a callback. Nice, nice, my boy Pete. Uh, no, no, no. It's not okay, John. I'm trying to help. Slowly but surely, the human mind. Integrates into its basis state. Look at the male as he exceeds his bounds of reasoning. Grasping at straws, he falls back to his most base instincts. I believe he said it best when he said, Mom. Is going to punch you in the face and take away your senses. Mother said, punch you in the face. Mama, mother said, punch you in the face. I'm going to punch you in the face. Mama said, okay. you no, no, no. That's not even it. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what you think of? Because I've been in a lab with a pen and a pad trying to solve this damn thing out. Uh, fucking shit. I ain't having that. This is the millennium of aftermath. One more album at, uh, fuck rap. I will send it back to you as you need. <laughs> so all the mad, where's all the mad rappers at? This is like a jungle habitat. One more. Uh, 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 fuck, shit. I can't even think of it. I know the whole thing. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say. Nothing comes out when they move the lips. Just a bunch of legal... Just gibberish. Just, but, but, gibberish. But motherfuckers act. They say forgot about this guy, uh, Dr. Drayson, MD. <laughs> a, great a great practitioner. <laughs> I, mean... I won't do it. I won't do it. Mona. I won't do it. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to ride this to the end of the earth. <laughs> He said, just stop. No, I won't. I'll figure it out. West. How come most of your your musical influences involve movies or TV shows centered around Will Smith? Uh, yeah, Mark. No, John, because you could have, uh, here we are, face to face, two sided on Tuesday nights, making a way. Fuck yeah, we say, drinking the shots, fucking a lot of jokes up. Don't know the references now. Be -de 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 -de. Uh, in the world today, it takes everything. You are 
try to make a weird face because you keep frozen every time and like the last face was good but uh... I don't break all your rules it mean a lot wouldn't you like to pay my OP do do no. do You want to go. What's, what's another what's another good what's another good uh 80s 90s song uh theme song oh oh one of my favorites nope nope that was not one of my favorites fuck friends <laughs> I want earlier I want earlier Anyone out there? What's a what's a good? Uh... But I don't want to do with those green eggs and something. Um, they're calling again. You're, you're right in there. What about um? Dun, dun, no. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Two, go, ready, go. Fantastic in 2024. It's about fucking time. Alive and well, we're just shooting off all kinds of great knowledge right here. Cool, sir. love to have someone like that play I want to do spoken word over that John I feel like that would be great and then have the chord resolve I feel I I'm going to get my guitar out for the next uh, green room oh no yeah oh, I'm going to Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's gonna be like that. Like, yeah, it's gonna be like, yeah, because I feel like that's too good to, to not fuck with. <laughs> hey, are, Craig. Here's brother, my man, my man. Uh, but here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons. Make it away. Together, we're gonna find a way. Come on, John, you know the rest of the words. Together, fuck yeah, it's Ricky Schroeder. You remember because he was adopted and a rich kid fucked shit up. Alfonso Ribeiro was there too, yeah. He hosts America's Funny Home Videos now. Be -do 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 -do. Well, you take the good, you take the bad. Take the rest and there you have. The facts of life. The facts of life. Oh, come on. Well, Mrs. Garrett, I don't know. Whoa, girls, girls, girls. <laughs> Come on, John. Name another show. Name another show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing the fucking. Do it. Do it. Oh, here. Uh, okay. Um, hold on. Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moon dreams home in a jar. You could be better That's... off than you are. You could Is be swinging on a star. Is that a TV show? It was theme a TV song? show. Yeah. Theme song. Yeah, they changed it. it you know, or or you could be a fish. They didn't say that. You could be swinging on a star. A mule is an animal with long sloppy ears. Hee haw, hee haw. Fuck yeah. TV. The, the teenage uh, uh, Lee had special bars because one was uh, a little different. Oh, was that? Uh, 
No, that's not. No, small wonder. Small wonder. Fuck yeah. Small wonder. Look at it's a small wonder. That chick's a robot. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, she didn't have parents. She was a robot. Come on. No, but she was because she was adopted. She was little Vicky. And Vicky was like, uh, victimist, Italianist, titanium, insulated, <laughs> kinetic. It was, so, it was so, I don't know. There was an acronym, but fuck off. Doesn't matter. Come on, John. You know the rest words, but it doesn't say nothing about fish. You could be swinging on the sun. And there was a Glox featured. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, no. The the Her dad would talk to her from the box. Yeah, Burt Reynolds. Ah, fuck. Yeah, you could. You didn't see it, but you could. You could. Hear his chest hair. It was there. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I remember this was it was a uh, something out of this world or something out of the world. Ding ding. You all can. right? That's all. Come on, man. I, I watch a lot of fucking TV. Let's go. What else you got? Let's go. What else you got? Deep cut. Um, no, those are what I want. Dun dun. How about this? Dun, 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 dun. Words at uh, that line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say you're a liar and a fat mouth and, and tone deaf. Um, what about? Uh, Maybe there was some laugh around. <laughs> like that? No, not like that. Do 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 do. Ha ha ha! Be do 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 do. Ma 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 ma. Is it close to that? <laughs> do 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 do. Tells from the crib. <laughs> you're an idiot. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> you can't do. <laughs> Mike does both. Why can't I? How much time do you have, John? What time is it on the East Coast? Well, you should we, know better by now. We did our official <laughs> show. <laughs> Wasn't asking questions. Don't need a fucking real answer. What about... Uh, what was the... No, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Nope. All I can think, we're halfway there. Whoa! That's not it. <laughs> what was the one? Do you remember uh, The Greatest American Hero? It was a great song. What was that? Believe it or not, I'm walking, walking on, air. on air. Never thought I could feel so free. <laughs> Here and now, I wing in a prayer. Who, Who could, it be? could it be? Believe it, Believe or, not, it or not, it's just it's me. Just me. For the longest time, I only knew of uh, believe it or not, Jordan at home. Message at the good night, Mona. Good night. Good night. And Small Wonder is creepy. So is John. It's if creepy. You, if you run into him late at night, wandering through the halls of his <laughs> abode, but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is that... Come on. Felt. Gotta leave him wanting more, John. That's why I sleep under my desk. <laughs> Mother's gonna lock you out. <laughs> I said a lot.
my eyeballs on your. By the way. I don't even know, dude. I I don't know. When they get cleaned and put back in the cupboard, I take whatever's there. And when they're not, if I could take red solo cups. If the maid cleans them, I use them. If if they're not, I don't. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> you know me. I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, certain. I would agree with that. Right? Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like other people pointed that out to me. Like the amount of fucks you give on certain things are the complete antithesis of the amount of fucks you give on what normal life should be. Right. Like why, do right. You, why, why do you care about this and this, but you couldn't fucking care less about this and this and this? Like, I'm a fucking conundrum wrapped in a riddle, man. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm a walkotomy. That's what makes me fucking cute. drive my car I'm seeing earlier to ruin that guy Rick right but I'm also going to drive my car and probably start another crime scene later on to deal with my emotional issues <laughs> about that guy it's all fuck it's circular it's not me it's the society I live in <laughs> you can cop him too yeah fucking you're not a cop, are you? If you are, you have to tell me. That's the rule. You know. Oh, John. If I... I I wish for you a good internet connection. I wish for you a better life. A technological leap in everything you do. I wish... I wish a lot of things, John. But uh you pour weed into one hand, wish in the other, you're only gonna be able to smoke one of those, is the old saying. Your internet connection unstable. I'm sorry, John. I can't let you connect. <laughs> Uh, let's have a show out of here, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? The place is dead anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, thanks, everybody. I'll see you're welcome. Hey. For the evening. hey, yeah. And another thing. Fucking, we look bigger in the light than we do in the dark. So don't come run around any corners too fast. Huh? Ah. <laughs> Sorry, John. You got to put a little fear into him before you leave. Ah. Let's let's go with Mandela effect. Object may appear closer. Actually, no. are no, definitely don't give him any science. You just got to give him ah, right? Ah, do that. Dark energy might change. Fucking shit. Ah! <laughs> ah! See? They're going to fucking swarm to you and attack you. Everyone's scared of me. You're fucked, John. You're actively fucked. Ah! She Thanks, MFA. Okay. You're welcome for listening, too. She said, We're welcome for listening. I love her. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Bad choices, high alcohol intake, and late nights are in our future. I'm glad the old gypsy's uh, predictions were true, John, because I didn't want to make her a liar once again. Oh, now you're going to... Oh, now I'm being fucking appropriate of... Fuck off. You're the one. Okay, bud. Cheers, everybody. Good luck in the future. <laughs>